<laughs> Welcome back to the Punch Tree <laughs> Podcast. Oh my god. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing great. Hope you had an awesome week. Yeah. Oh my god. We are still fucking recovering from Comic Con. I don't feel recovered <clears throat> at all. No. Not me, even me slightly recovered. I don't can you feel the bottom half of your body? No. I definitely can't. No. Um, my feet still hurt. The feet noodles. left the chat, right? <laughs> <laughs> my dogs are still barking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, we uh, made a pact with a demon on a crossroads <laughs> and uh, revived Silva. He's back. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, yeah. Yay. Welcome back. Hi, Wait, guys. hit the... Hit the... Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I totally missed this, yeah. <laughs> I didn't Suck. burn a line. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no, you did, but that's why we... Oh, uh, yeah. We yeah. brought you Act. back to life. Yeah, Silva died the other day. Um, <laughs> Damn. For, like, the fifth time. Dude, you just keep coming back. You got nine <laughs> lives. <laughs> I'm too stubborn. Yeah. No, but real talk, his, uh, your fucking house caught on fire, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. What, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, um, my my dad owns a, a a Tesla. Let me start flexing. I'm just kidding. No, my dad owns a Tesla, and uh, I put it to charge. Of course, not yeah. my fault. Um, and I needed it to be ready for work. Yeah. But yeah. then, uh, when I woke up, I, middle of the night, uh, <laughs> um, it it didn't charge at all. It said error, and I'm like already freaking out. I can't go to work now, right? Because okay. my yeah. car is still in the shop at the time. I got it back. Finally. Update. Yeah, yeah, that took six yeah, weeks. Dude. Six weeks. Dude. Yeah, dude. That's they another act like story. You that, yeah, that's another story upon itself. But <laughs> uh, again, so I was like, okay, I'll take the other car. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I came back. The car still wasn't charging, and I woke up. It was starting to be what, Saturday. Yeah. And uh, I usually when I wake up, I wake up early. There's no sun out yet, so I always turn on my lamp. Didn't turn on, so power was out. On the house, oh, okay. so I notified my parents, and they're like, "Okay, just in case, unplug the the charger of the Tesla, because if power comes back on, I don't know if uh, it might the like Tesla surge. has like yeah, surge protection or whatever." So when I went there, it smelled like smoke. Oh I was God. like, "Okay, it's Saturday, carne asada, some shit." Like, <laughs> yeah, it's that's too the early, name. Yeah. Like, what's up? <laughs> so my mom was like, "Okay, well, you unplug stuff uh, when they installed the solar panels for the yeah. Tesla." Um, they put a uh, its own like surge box or uh, you know uh, yeah, yeah. Its it? own fuse fucking, box yeah. sorry, fuse box uh, on the side of the house uh, she c- was struggling to open it uh, even broke a nail <laughs> she oh, broke a nail shit. trying to open it yeah. and as soon as she opened it a ball of like dark smoke came oh, out oh my god and the way it was installed is you have the switches but there's no backing to the box yeah, it's like she- it goes into the inside walls <laughs> because it's in the inside walls of the house okay but within those walls it was like fire orange <gasps> fire lit up we're like what the fuck? we don't know how long yeah it had been like that and it's inside walls of the house uh we Holy called the fire shit. department thankfully we live like six minutes of one okay that's good two fire trucks like i mean i get it I and how sense. early was this it was around 11 10 but, 9 30 10 okay. we found okay. out yeah uh but not uh, too was, early like you didn't wake up the whole neighborhood <laughs> no thank god no <laughs> I, I, like on that night neighbors I had, <laughs> on that night I, had, I went to sleep at like midnight so thankfully i probably would have noticed you know i slept super late yeah, yeah. Uh, and i woke up fairly early too but then uh yeah again emergency service props to them they, the response yeah. was like thank god you know literally my sister hanged up six minutes on the dot. Two fire trucks, uh, you know, uh, cop car, and uh, all the neighbors, right? <laughs> yeah, they all want to know the cheese <laughs> like, What's man. Going What's going on, yeah. on over there? But, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put my mom on blast. So so whose fault was it? Do you uh, know? No, uh, well, I guess the way the, the plug for the charger for the Tesla, whoever installed it, that's... On them. On them, because... Okay. Outlets are what? Plastic, right? The covers. That's metal. And it was metal on metal. Yeah. And uh, I guess it started like melting no, yeah. and melting Damn. and it caused surge. But we, you can't see it. You, you don't notice. Yeah. You just would charge the car, I guess, multiple Jeez. times. Well, thank God like, you yeah. guys were home. Imagine yeah. if you guys were like yeah. gone or something. And yeah. like... Imagine yeah. it would have been midday and everybody's doing their own thing. Come yeah. back to ashes. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Well, I'm glad everyone's yeah. okay. Yeah. And thankfully. No, yeah, did, thankfully. It, did it fuck with the Tesla? 
Uh, actually, no, it does have surge protection. Okay. Like that. Oh, good. Okay, yep, that's good because it could have well, destroyed yeah. the car. At, at least the Tesla has, <laughs> and, <laughs> and and not the fucking <laughs> fuse not box. the house, yeah, not the fuse box. No, yeah, I was jo- I was joking with Erica right now when when my mom was like, "Okay, you probably should unplug the Tesla just in case the power comes back to the home." I was like, "Priorities, I should unplug my PS5." Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you went straight to the PS5. <laughs> I don't need a house, but I Priorities. do need a PS5. I'm dead. Why? 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 I'm gonna put my. I'm I'm gonna put my mother on blast on this because what's the one thing you do not do on electrical fires water exactly perfect oh no (laughs) so my mom was like oh no well okay the emergency (laughs) services are coming like what do I do what do I do I have to do something I don't just stand there I'm watching my house burn from the inside (laughs) oh shit so she calls my dad who's a mechanical electrical engineer Right, As, and, um, he's, it starts off good because he's like, "No, don't fucking grab the hose." Yeah, and start spraying, and she's like, "What's burning? What yeah. you want to do?" He's like, <laughs> "According to my mom, I think it's cap." And she's, she's like, "Your dad said, okay, just a tiny bit." Oh, which <laughs> is bullshit. Just it's one hundred percent bullshit. Bit, apparently, yeah, fire extinguisher. I, mean, I just said it to same face, <laughs> but it's like. Yeah, just sprinkle a little bit. <laughs> but she did. But also, she did this exactly. Uh, and this, at is the dad, this is your dad. This is your dad. If I yeah. had a lightsaber right now, I'd beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not promoting domestic violence. <laughs> but, like, also, <sighs> as a, I guess, thing, I guess, uh, karma cut up to her. Not karma, but, like, universe. Yeah. Because as my mother is, like, I'm sprinkling, <laughs> right? I'm helping. The fire trucks arrived. Yeah. And you could almost see that that one firefighter like like slow mo, mo literally like so fucking do it. Don't do some stupid dun, 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 shit. Dun, 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 like <laughs> I was dun, swatting the freaking hose dun, dun, from my mom. Was like, dun, 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 no, don't fucking oh do that. My God. And then yeah, she got a bit of a, like a scolding. Like, yeah, like, you, you could have had to not either. fucking like, do that, you ma'am. I know, you, I know you were panicked, but that was literally <laughs> the worst thing you could have done. Yeah, your exactly. mom, your mom could have met Thor and fucking uh, <laughs> oh Valhalla. My God, she died a warrior. Drinking with the gods. Oh my Jesus. god. Jesus. All right. Well, th- let's Still a thank God that um, nobody else got hurt. Yeah. yeah. We were yeah. able to uh, resuscitate Silva, <laughs> and uh, now he has 10 years uh, before he has to answer to that <laughs> demon we sold his soul to. Oh God. <clears throat> Use that fast. <laughs> uh, but yeah. All right. Well, <sighs> thank God you're alive. Yeah. And, uh, welcome that, back. Yeah, welcome back. And, you know. At least your PS5 is safe. <laughs> no, also, is like, my, safe? my mind... Is she all right? My, my mind's completely <laughs> fucked because of the podcast. Because I was like, instead of saying, damn, that was a close one. I was like, oh, I got content. Like, <laughs> I'm going to make a back story. <laughs> tell my story. That's I was funny. like, holy oh, shit. That's hilarious. Got to make yeah. the most of it. Well, should, so. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's open up the show before right, we go off on another tangent. Thank God. Uh, yeah, everybody uh, drop a, a F in the chat. For Silva, <laughs> for him being here. But all right, let's lightning open up. bolt emoji. Yeah, yeah, the lightning bolt Charging emoji. <laughs> there we go. All right, since we're on uh, Comic Con topics, here we go. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they did. Got wrecked. It's rated from uh, Full Combat. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. He's like, yeah, I'm on TV. And then he's like, oh, no. <laughs> that will never get old. That is that is the mood, right? Yes. That Dude. poor guy, bro. Poor, poor bro dude. was just trying to vibe. He was. He was minding his own like business. They weren't even interviewing him. He was just walking business. by, and they were literally. Like, <laughs> she's Look like, at this idiot. Roast this fucking fool. Oh, 
bro. Oh my god. Bro, fucking props. That was a killer cosplay. Yeah, yeah no, awesome. no, he killed it. He, I he mean, did. I, I knew what it was. Yeah, he's rated. <laughs> yeah. Fucking grown man is Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> fucking bitch. So like, why up. are you here if you're going to talk shit? <laughs> right. Go she's like, on the garden even if he the was, to be honest. Because even if he was cosplaying Kung Fu Panda, she's like, you can even see a grown ass yeah, man. Yeah, no, but, she was being mean. Yeah. But I'll cut her a break because who's even more at fault is her crew. How the hell do you not? Come on, you. You at least. Well, it's live. Uh, yeah, I don't right, think they right. were like. <laughs> the cameraman was definitely like. <laughs> he was like, oh, <laughs> that's still funny. And uh, it and yeah. We're, we're being sorted by morons. Their education is so limited. <laughs> Dude, fucking it. keep killing it, bro. That keep ass. killing it. No, yeah, I'm, I, I that's a, that clip's a little older, but it's yeah. been it's been circling around lately. It's relevant and is relevant to the episode. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, all right, guys. So we got a bunch of uh, stuff uh, we're gonna cover today. Uh, we're really just gonna go a little more in depth to everything that went down uh comic-con weekend yeah well, comic-con week it's week. not even a fucking yeah. weekend and I, I i i loathe the fact that we keep calling it a weekend yeah it's it's, not. it's just monday that yeah. we don't that isn't comic but the big brands set oh, yeah, up there, there on monday. monday yeah so it's a whole ass week so it is a week it is a week we yeah. got we got there tuesday to set up and then wednesday was preview night thursday friday saturday sunday is full days of comic-con and then uh, some some brands break down Monday. Too. Yeah, even Monday. They're, so they're, they're like yeah over a week. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And on top of all of this, our month before was we got married. Then we went on our yeah, yeah. <laughs> which we n- never really talked about. Yeah. But we'll do a we'll do a we can do a recap recap yeah. later. But just because Comic Con's fresh in our minds. But we got married. We went on our honeymoon. We yeah. came back. We had a week to get ready for Comic Con, and then we did a week of Comic Con. I yeah. think so, you guys needed that because dude. imagine the week you guys had without the rest of your honeymoon, like, yeah. like oh, having yeah. a honeymoon or a vacation. Yeah. Oh yeah, we oh, needed God. we yeah. needed that vacation, yeah, and it was sure. so nice. We had such a nice time. But this has been the craziest month of our life. Yeah. Like by far. Definitely. Like, it was so fun. Like super stressful but two months. in a good craziest way craziest two months yeah, of our lives of course obviously it's like getting was, ready for the wedding was a whole other yeah it was beast. Oh, yeah. june and july fucking but wild. um but um it was really really fun i'm really excited to talk about comic-con this year because a lot of things happened that we were not expecting at all definitely not. and a lot of like bucket list things happened yeah. so like dreams realized yeah it was crazy so yeah thank you to everyone that came by again, that yes, thank said you hi pick something up if you got some of the exclusives or some of our older stuff um you know it really means a lot to us yeah. we wouldn't be able to do what we do no no if it weren't for you guys definitely so. not and we had thank a bunch of, we had a good amount of people come by the booth and we're like Oh my god! Like I listen to the podcast. Yeah. Like I, I love you guys. Oh, that you guys was cool. Stuff. Yeah. That's and awesome. like yeah. So so handed out a few podcast stickers. So if you're listening, shout out. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. Um, and uh, that's that's honestly like the best part. That's like the coolest part of doing shows is like oh, meeting yeah, everybody. For sure. That's uh, my favorite. That part. like you know support us and yeah. that, you know maybe not are, aren't always like you know uh making themselves known with like comments and stuff but like yeah. they make the effort to come out yeah. and see you personally yeah. and be like thank you for like you know either the pins or the podcast is awesome yeah. or whatever yeah they're just coming to say hi like it it it, it means so much it, yeah. it really does and, and yeah. i love uh, i love meeting the people that do support us you know yeah. so it's it's really cool yeah um but yeah yeah comic-con was really really fun really really awesome uh we uh we are recording these this episode a little bit back to a uh, little back to back from the episode we recorded with uh miguel and mike and alex from bb Cree 8 mm-hmm. uh so was, that was like a couple days ago sunday, yeah that was sunday seven, night yeah. yeah that was we sunday recorded night. at like midnight we did like it we was did we were done at like almost crazy. two <laughs> it was crazy um we we're like we haven't slept in a week anyway what's a few more hours? <laughs> yeah like, literally is like, whatever um but that was a lot of fun so definitely yeah. go check out uh, that episode with uh, BB Create, uh, that was so much fun, and uh, you know we 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 kind of went over like the 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 key moments for us as like a group yeah. at Comic Con, yeah. And uh, but but yeah, today we're gonna go in depth, yeah, in 
depth of all of the, the Bella, nitty gritty, the nitty gritty, all Bella, of our mental did, breakdowns throughout the week. Yeah. Bella did a bunch of <laughs> uh, really cool shit this week. Yeah. Um, she got a bunch of really cool opportunities to go out and do some stuff. Uh, and, and we met a bunch of really cool people yeah. and, uh, got a bunch of really cool shit at Comic-Con. Yes. Oh my God. Um, I accidentally bought 10 Squishmallows. Accidentally. <laughs> accidentally. So is this going to be like a show and tell episode? Um, I mean, it could, be. it could be. Do you guys want to okay. see them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no. I'm, I'm going to make a reel for sure. But yeah. if we have time. I did, I did get to catch like. I mean, we can at least show the bag, like grab, so, grab the bag. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> just so they can see okay yeah, this one's mine so i don't know what the fuck you mean by <laughs> I, I yeah i got air called the mothra yeah. oh she's a little okay. baby oh, that's awesome so <laughs> this is that's my so bag and holy frick it's filled to oh the top God. there are i think 10 counting yours or maybe 11 i don't know <laughs> there he goes but, <laughs> Hey, this is all I bought, so it's not that bad. Can Dang. you see? Yeah. yeah. Can you see them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, that's my out of control. My new obsession. I I've been like on the fence about about. about can, there. Please Good. don't mess with the cables. <laughs> Sorry. We're, We're running good. on fucking fumes here. I got too <laughs> excited about the squish. The squish. Uh yeah, I've been like on the fence about it, like eh, mainly because they take up our whole bed <laughs> right and so really quick the first one i got myself because i got them as gifts first like for like christmas i got mm -hmm. like the little grogu and stuff like that oh, so cool. but when we went to c2e2 they had like you know how they have like pop dealers throughout oh, the show yeah. it was like that but the but squish, squish models, models. Oh, yeah okay. so when i saw them in person i was like ooh, mm -hmm. right so i got like <laughs> literally <laughs> so i got like one each day because i was like oh, i'm gonna have oh, something to God. remember the show and yeah. like that's how it started yeah. yeah so he was like yeah they're cute but like we have them on our bed and they always like get kicked off in the <laughs> middle of the night so he was like kind of annoyed by them but and I'm like, here can, we go. You can we, continue. Another <laughs> obsession. We need another obsession, right? But they're yeah. small. They're not. They're they are. <laughs> this one's small. Yeah. This one. <laughs> this one is small. Look at these. You got me the big one. What do you mean? He got the, me a, the biggest one, and then he's gonna complain. <laughs> you got this one. Big? You got this That's one. That's not that big. This is big. That looks like Chancy from. Okay, this is big. That is this big. is what Eric Hill got me. Okay, well it's Godzilla. He has it, to be big. I love them. That's awesome. You got this one. I got strawberry fruit. Strawberry frog. You got Mothman. I got Mothman. But his name is Perkin. <laughs> okay, I love that they they each have like lore. They have like a backstory. Really? Yeah, like what? on their little card. Oh, that's got a little dino. Jimmy. Arlie. That's Arlie. Dino. Arlie. Who else is in there? Oh fuck yeah! All right. This one's, oh my god. This one's a vibe. Oh yeah, I saw that in your story. So I was like, <laughs> dude, heck yeah. What's the uh, We're making a what's mess, the Isabella. bird from Peanuts called? Woodstock. Woodstock. That's, Woodstock. That's that him. is Woodstock. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. With, like, with sunglasses. Like <laughs> this was this the is... Comic Con exclusive yeah, it, that I didn't it. think I'd be able to get because we were so busy at the booth. But Eric Hill like ran Lauren over. Eric Hill ran over and was like, "My is wife that a really salt wants and pepper this." Shaker or no, it's a it's fucking a mushroom. mushroom. Okay. <laughs> his name. His name is Randall. Randall. Everyone say hi, Randall. Hi, Randall. Well, Randall does vibe. Yeah, oh, okay. I did get you this one. Here. You're welcome. Yay! It's like the never ending bag from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep yeah. pulling stuff. Zero, my boy. And then this little fruit bat. Hey! It's not a fruit bat, it's just a bat. Oh, a sorry. A bat. Sorry, I didn't Hot mean. Topic exclusive. Oh, really? Nice. Is that all of them? I think so. <laughs> Eric is like, I wish. I fucking hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's another bag here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To show this one. Yeah, again. we show that one. Cinema roll with a little cookie. So yeah, uh, that was like my yeah. my yeah. poison. Your poison. So the exciting thing is that I'm gonna get a little hammock, and I'm gonna <laughs> put it up in the corner. <laughs> Are we there? Hey, I'm hey, Eric goes like, who, who's gonna hey, install it? Who's 90, we? 99, <laughs> who the fuck is we? Ninety-nine percent of the stuff in this place is yeah. yours. Okay. Yeah, okay. 
I am oh, allowed. I thought, I thought we I got am married. Allowed. I thought it's ours now. What I am allowed shit? a squishmallow hammock, okay? <laughs> you mean our squishmallow hammock. Oh, now you're suddenly <laughs> interested. I'm just trying to see where I can take this. <laughs> so I'm going to make a little hammock. I am your cool slutty daddy. Oh, my God. I'm going to make a hammock so they're not on the bed and Move, they're up in their little face. <laughs> and then all right, all right. they're cute and okay. I can enjoy them, but they won't be in the way. Okay. Right. Compromise. That's what Compromise. marriage is all about. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 Compromise. Okay. Uh, no, but yeah. So um, we got a shit ton of fucking squishmallows. <laughs> Did you uh, get something particular? Bro, I or? I really didn't get much. Really? I, I, I didn't have time. If to I leave went the around, boat, yeah, dude. I saw like it. you guys were swamped. Crazy. So. I went around. Just... I got to walk around maybe five times. Mm-hmm. Three the the first three times I got to walk around, I really didn't get to see stuff because mm. you were doing still setting other up because I was doing other huh because they were still setting up no but because uh, no I I walked around I never walk around before because even if I want to get something they're like oh you're an exhibitor you can't line up right now and I'm like yeah I don't, I'm not trying to resell well yeah but you could totally make a shopping list now like oh it's right here and this one yeah right but here. we were so busy leading up I didn't know what the fuck was available uh, I didn't yeah, know we what were... so. It wasn't until like Saturday mm-hmm. that I realized, oh, there's like two exclusive uh, comic book covers that I want to get, Oof. and they were all, both of them were limited edition, oh, and by then they were already sold out. No. Yeah. Boo. So the only comic book cover exclusive to San Diego Comic Con that I got yeah. was this one, was oh, the comic that I've already gotten. But, Sorry, Miss Jackson. So this is yeah. So this is the <laughs> the. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Uh, this is the uh, Jackson Annual number one ver- uh, exclusive SDCC variant. Nice. The black and white variant. So I got this one. Uh, what franchise? Uh, uh, it's Dark Horse. So it's Dark Horse. This is a Star Wars. Um, but it's, yeah, Star Wars uh, Hyperspace Stories uh, Jackson Annual number one. Bugs Bunny nice. cameo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. So, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so, yeah, I went, I went to the Dark Horse booth for that. Awesome. And... Um, I don't think I even it was saw so their cool. It was so cool seeing them there again because they weren't there last year. And uh, this is also the first time they've had Star Wars back at their booth. Yeah. Uh, since since tw- since the the they stopped publishing uh, the comics. Yeah. So it was really really cool to see them back there and going there for a Star Wars exclusive mm-hmm. was very nostalgic for me because yeah, like cool. I used to go all the time to the Dark yeah. Horse booth uh, to get I like I remember getting the. Uh, 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 Darth Maul, um, Son of Dathomir, number mm. one exclusive. There, Dang, I got two. That that was yeah, Fuck, like yeah. ten years ago. Fucking yeah, ten plus. A while ago, Dang. that was the last uh, STCC exclusive they had. That's crazy. For and Star that's, Wars, like, literally one of the coolest Star Wars comics. Yeah. and now that one's like fucking worth a lot. Worth a lot. Yeah, um, and I have two of them, so that's I'm, I'm waiting one until they're like. One of the only canon one. That is right? the only Dark Horse can't that is the only dark horse comic from the old eu stuff that they would publish that's canon. that is canon yeah oh, um a, a, but all the new dark horse stuff like the hyperspace stories ones and the the uh i think they're also publishing some high republic adventures comics mm-hmm. those are still canon but because those are now published under like the disney uh story the, the canon storyline right mm-hmm. um and that was after they got the license back okay. but yeah, the the Son of Dathomir series was published while they still had the license before the Disney buyout, and that was one of the last comics that they published. And those were published because the Clone Wars was canceled, yeah. And those were unreleased episodes that would have been Clone Wars episodes. That's so cool. Which is really yeah. fucking cool, and yeah. like it would have been crazy. So yeah, that's why they are still canon. Yeah. Yeah, or can, yeah. you know they've they've they remained canon, right? Yeah. Question. So, uh, yeah. I I know because uh, I kept seeing articles that uh, a lot of celebrities either pulled out for being on Comic Con in solidarity for you know the uh, the whole writers guild and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what was it, the the vibe? So what type of I celebrities guess, still there? Yeah. Oh, that, that okay. many. So I guess let let me let me preface this as well so that we can you know uh, so we we kind of touched on this a couple episodes ago mm-hmm. uh, on our episode sixty six special, um, so 
as of right now, we're taking a break from talking about any new projects. Mm-hmm. Um, just, you know, obviously to stand in solidarity with the writer's strike and, you know, especially because this show, this podcast is considered media. Yeah. Right. This is a, 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 a program, I guess we can call it on YouTube. Uh, we have writers, we have a producer, we have talent. Yeah. Right. Like technicality. We don't consider ourselves all that just because yeah. we're, we're friends recording a podcast yeah. and just yeah. putting it together and, and having fun with it but technically you know yeah we are we're a part of that we're a part of that industry so yeah. it's yeah. Uh, you know i also and and i'm in support of of course uh people getting uh paid what they're what worth, they're worth and, yeah. and 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 Especially and getting what they a, deserve on as artists as artists yeah. exactly like we understand yeah. because we are also artists how how yeah. underappreciated and overlooked artists have yeah. been and i mean they've given us our favorite stories yeah they've exactly. given us yeah. well i mean like the fandoms that we have are yeah. because of those stories and they wouldn't exist without all of these people that have dedicated their lives yeah. to creating them exactly so. and like uh, exactly like all these stories that give us hope that teach us life lessons yeah. that are there for us when maybe no one else no other human being is yeah you know a, a living person is not there for you like these stories will be yeah. yeah and that has been all of us at some point yeah right and, and these stories have become like pillars in our childhood yeah, right so exactly yeah. not yeah. just our child but like even now in adulthood yeah, right? yeah. it's like uh, it's something we can even pass on exactly yeah. So, yeah so yeah. so it does matter and it is important and and this industry is changing rapidly with all yeah. of this new technology all of the new things that we're able to do with you know with uh you know with everything that we have today right yeah so um but the human touch is still very important yeah, yeah. and i saw somewhere and I, I, I and i don't want to take credit for this at all but i i i just can't remember who said it but um i think it was an actor that was saying that uh you can't replace humans with uh from st- humans are the only ones that can tell human stories yeah oh, like that. that's what that's what uh the entertainment industry is it's you're telling human stories it's from one human to another exactly human. yeah and it doesn't matter if they're it's faking in space or it's in space it's like they're still humans yeah and 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 only humans know what it's like to be human you can't exactly. fucking give that to ai who you know, yes, they give they, some prompt and exactly they, some they can write some shit, but is it gonna be good or and genuine? Also, no, ha- isn't that or just connect. plagiarism? And it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Like <laughs> exactly. we got so much shit in school for yeah, taking yeah. two words that were put next to article. each other on yeah. an article, <laughs> and you could get kicked out of school. Yeah. Literally, but all of Hollywood wants to just like automate, exactly. automate, yeah. and yeah, and uh, yeah. You yeah. guys know. You yeah, know. you guys get it. So yeah, I just I I think that 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 really like stood out to me. Is like it, you're right. You know th- this, it, it's silly to to even contemplate or even even uh, like uh, entertain the idea that of taking human out of, of the equation. Th- right? Yeah, yeah. Of yeah. taking humans out of the storytelling equation. We are what create stories. Like yeah. nothing else yeah. can create it. Like that's what makes humans and humanity so beautiful is the things that we can create the art that we can create the yeah. the the music that we can create mm-hmm. the stories we can tell with images with 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 drawings with you know whatever we can get our hands on yeah. humans create yeah. and 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 i'm getting so philosophical here <laughs> uh, but you know i mean it, it's it's true right yeah. and, and and if you're going to take the human aspect out of it it's like what are you doing it's hollow it's hollow it's yeah. not real it's fake and lifeless and 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 it takes away purpose from being yeah. human True. you know yeah. Yeah. so uh so fuck that <laughs> yeah um, and, hard and hard no hard, hard no and i hope that there's pass. a yeah yeah hard pass uh i hope that the, that some there's an agreement that yeah. come that they yeah. can come to uh, uh, and 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 in a is, timely manner. In a timely manner, yeah. because this is being dragged on way too long. True. Yeah. yeah. Um, and not only you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. I I what what can what else can I say that other people haven't right? Yeah. I'm just 
that that's just where we stand on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're like I, like I said, we're taking a little break of talking any about any of the new stuff. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, but I mean, we're still here for Star Wars, right? Star Wars has been around way longer than this. It was created by someone that you know it has got the backs of the artists, right? Yeah. And and the yeah. and the creators. And, well, the and studios wouldn't even support him after A New Hope. Exactly. They didn't believe in him after before A New Hope. Before and after. Oof. Yeah. Before yeah. and after. Even after A New Hope, they're like, you want to do it, you got to fund it yourself. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, like. That's stupid. Yeah, exactly. Add, you know, like. Yeah, that, I don't think there's anyone that, that, that you know. If, relate, if, if, right? if there's anyone yeah. that doesn't agree, it's not fucking George Lucas. <laughs> yeah. It's not George Lucas. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, we're going to talk about the comics, EU, you know past star wars right uh, like yeah. any of the new, uh, but right now yeah. we're just laying off of the new stuff but, but to answer your question mm-hmm. comic-con uh it was it was definitely affected mm-hmm. right because there were no uh big panels like uh, major studio panels yeah. at, in hall h where they usually happen and uh and the, i don't really think there were a lot there were a few celebrities i i, I I really did not pay attention As to guests, who. Ra- more rather than more like they. I think if they were there, they were there on their own course, to do yeah. signings. They weren't like promoting movies. an upcoming movie. No. It okay. was just like this is an actor. Yeah. Who's been in in stuff in stuff that's nerdy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they were there as themselves. Exactly. Okay. So, yeah. so yeah, the the way that the show was impacted was yeah. because there were a lot less panels like that at Hall H. Uh, there were a lot more people on the floor, on the yeah. show floor. Yeah. Like, okay. like I would say seventy-five percent of people are usually in Hall H. Yeah, and then and then you know that when there's when there's like surges of yeah. people, it's because the panel just got out. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it, so it's everything like, revolves around the panels. Definitely. Yeah. yeah so this so. year it was like, uh, and I I was talking to our friends at the comic shop, and they were. They were saying that a bunch of other other uh, a bunch of other friends of theirs that may maybe have like prints or like other goods that aren't pins, right? That they were after like the first couple of days, they were having to like go to their print shops and be like, "I need like a hundred more prints." Oh wow! And so like they were selling out. Like, yeah, like the awesome. floor was That's doing awesome, really really but well. Stressful. Like, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, this this year was definitely like one of those years where it's like super Couldn't tight. Walk. You can yeah. barely Felt get like around. Sardine, anyway. right? yeah. 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 Also, like the cosplay was affected. So oh, really? there's been a lot of different information and misinformation and kind of going back and forth. But it pretty much boiled down to um, don't cosplay tv or movie characters but you can cosplay comic book characters oh, about the games the, mm-hmm, oh, and books I know that. so yeah. there were a lot less cosplayers um but but the people wow. that did cosplay it was more so like anime okay. gaming okay. stuff like that like eu star yeah. wars i saw a lot That's of cool. eu star wars stuff a lot of jaina's a lot of mara's so, yeah so yeah that it was, was really cool. cool so there were still people cosplaying I'm, but yeah. this this strike happened literally a week before comic-con True. so that's where it made it difficult where it's like people spend months or years working on a cosplay yeah, yeah, the they've already bought their hotel they've yeah. already bought their flight they've already yeah. done so much so a lot of people just kind of didn't know what to do and they want to support but, I, but, I, but like, I mean all solidarity to, to this movement and i'm all supportive but then then i must have like hit them it, hard in terms of yeah, like i've been was, working with uh, yeah, this it was for years. It was I, th- I also now think. I look, it. I also think. Look, yeah. and and we just talked about it, and yeah. and I'm in. Of course, I'm in full support of this movement, but at the same time, it's like, what do people dressing up after their favorite characters have yeah. to do with? Yeah with any of that right these are fans these are people it's not like you're dressing up everyday as a director. people no, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Like the, exactly like, yeah. like you're dressed up as bob Iger. you're not <laughs> you're not you're not dressing up as a fucking billboard for disney yeah. it's like yeah. this is my favorite character yeah. and yeah. they've helped me through my life through getting yeah. you know yeah. and, and i it, just finished it's it's a it's a testament and it's like a way to honor the work that these yeah, the art, writers the and art. authors and costume designers and stuntmen and choreographers 
all because the people, of yeah. all the stuff that they have done, they've created these characters that yeah. have completely changed people's yeah. lives. So yeah. that's how I see cosplaying and that's how I've tried to, you know, focus my content um, and like if I post something, yeah, you know, give it I'm a like, fun twist, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, we wouldn't have these characters if it wasn't for all these people that that make it happen. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, the artists. So it's been a interesting time for for the community, but I know that we'll get through it. I yeah. know it's going to be better for everyone, like everyone on the other yeah. side. Definitely. Um, but yeah, once again, I just hope they're able to reach an agreement soon. I so think, people can, you know, get back to their lives. Yeah. Because yeah. this is... Because yeah, also, like, you know, it's not like the people on strike are ha have it easy. Either. No. It's like no. They're, no. They're, they're sacrificing a lot and putting they're a putting lot on the line. Exactly. Everything on the yeah, line. They're risking their financial... Well, their, li their livelihoods, yeah. 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 So, so, I mean, and power to them, right? Because yeah. that takes a lot of fucking guts, a lot yeah. of fucking, you know courage to do something like that yeah. to step up to you know these enormous companies that that can more than afford to give give uh people what they deserve for yeah. their work their talent their time yeah. and their contribution to what makes these companies so great yeah you know you this com these companies you can't didn't have start art great. without an artist these companies <laughs> didn't start off great no they they weren't spawned and oh they were the they're the biggest company overnight ever. success no no disney as as an example right yeah. how did it start he was drawing on his barn doors well yeah, yeah as a little kid but it's yeah. like he was a starving artist yeah he could he got his art stolen by one of the biggest conglomerates at the time yep he got the, his the first rough draft of mickey mouse if yeah. you guys don't know was a rabbit uh, yeah. Oswald, the lucky rabbit, and oh. uh, they uh, stole it. They from stole him. it from him. I think it was Universal. Universal stole it from Walt Disney because they were like, "Well, we're gonna make it, and you didn't cover your ass uh, legally, legally, so now Dang. it's ours." You drew it for us. You drew it for us while you worked for us, so now it's ours. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah, because he was he was yeah. uh, I guess under contract with them, and yeah. he created that for himself. But they were like, nope, that's ours because you were un you were under contract while you when you yeah. made that those contracts, man. Dude. Exactly. They'll get so, um, so it, Walt Disney had multiple ch multiple uh, uh, things that he should have quit after, yeah, or, or because of, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, he kept going because he's like, no, this is th these are my create this is my creation. This is what I love to do, and I do it for the love of it and for what I want to put out into the world. Yeah. Right um and and you know he was an artist a writer yeah. a, a, a a creative mm -hmm. so it's like also at the same time don't fucking forget where you came from right yeah, yeah. it's as simple as that but yeah. i i, I <laughs> we'll leave it at that we'll leave it at that <laughs> um but yeah so comic-con uh you know obviously it would have been cool to have those big panels yeah. for everyone and and obviously all those announcements and stuff but they can wait and um, it, it was definitely uh, uh, very good for the people exhibiting. Right? Yeah. And, and, and uh, uh, it translated pretty well um, and on that end. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like both attendees and exhibitors had an amazing time. Yeah. At, uh, at this year's Comic-Con. I was talking to a few people who said they usually only do panels. <coughs> like, they're usually in Hall H, the whole show. Oh, okay. And they were saying, they're like, I, I you know, obviously I missed that we didn't have the panels, but they said, this is the first time I've been able to walk around. Yeah. This is the first yeah. time I've ever been able to go into the exhibit hall and see all these big yeah, booths I don't, I don't know how and go to don't. Artist Alley and buy from small creators. So they were like, yeah. you know, it was bittersweet, but it was just as fun. It was just doing something else. And what's crazy about San Diego Comic-Con being the biggest comic convention in the world is that you could literally spend the whole week only doing one thing like if True. you just wanted to it's cosplay big, yeah. and hang yeah. out with people that also cosplay yeah. and go to a meetup you could do that every single day for a different all fandom day. Yeah. All, all day, day long Sick. if you want to just go to the panels you can go like a bum in your sweatpants and t-shirt <laughs> 
and just and do just panels all day, all day long. Down. And you just stay in Hall H. You, yeah. They don't kick you out. You just stay. You just stay in there. Yeah. If you want to just get exclusives, if you're a collector and you love the hunt and the chase, you could spend all day long for the whole week doing that. Yeah. Wow. So, and there's a bunch of other things. So there's so many different things to do at Comic-Con. So yes, you know, it was missed, but I think everyone collectively collectively agreed that it's for the best and, and that you know, they were going to make the best of they're going to make the Comic-Con. best of it literally it did not feel it didn't feel like anything felt, was missing yeah. or off the the community the fandom made the best of it and yeah. enjoyed it so yeah but all right let's let's uh let's cover some more of the things that we because we we did a lot this, this yeah this, so uh, we're gonna go day by day and just kind of talk about guess, like yeah, the big yeah. points um but so tuesday was when we set up the first day um but we had an issue with our exclusives so you want to tell that story so our exclusives were ordered uh like beginning of june and should have been done and ready by the end of june shipped to us by the end of june Mm -hmm. i don't know what happened i also lost track of the time because we had our wedding we had our honeymoon i just trusted that they'd be done and And they were gonna do what they said they were gonna do (laughs) yeah exactly yeah. So, um, pretty much, long story short, it was Tuesday, and we still didn't have our pins. Yeah. Our exclusives. So, we ordered our exclusives, all of them, the ones for Comic-Con and the ones for Mosh Eisley, mm-hmm. and we reordered, like, a handful of pins of, like, our best sellers. Yeah. Uh, so that we could have them at San Diego Comic-Con, which, thank God we did, because they ended up, did they did end up selling a good amount. Yeah. Like the the reorders. Yeah. Um, so uh, and we, we would not have, we, we would not have had enough from because uh, we were sold out of a few and we had like five left of one. Yeah. And uh, we they would have sold out. and We were that would have been money we didn't make. Right. Yeah. yeah. So all of that. It was Tuesday, the day before the, the uh, day before preview night. No pins. We were done setting up. And I was checking the whole time. I was checking the tracking. They were supposed to be there Monday. So the day before. I was stressing the fuck out. Um, I've and, never seen him so stressed out. Yeah. Like, I was really he stressed. wasn't was eating. Yeah. He was like, yeah, like out of it. Yeah, like, I know. Like I know. brain fog. I know. But like, I, I, I was trying, like, I was like, I know it's going to be fine. But my body was like, having a, like, like his, it took his over. sciatica was acting up. Dang. My everything was acting up. Like, like I his was, body was not. <laughs> Yeah. Did you get the icing? Huh? Did you get yeah, the icing? he he burst. No, no he burst, I burst a, 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 a blood a, vessel in his eye. And it was like all red <laughs> on this side, <laughs> and I was like, motherfucker. And like, uh, and and like, I was trying to act fine, but you could visually see Dude. that I was not fine. You were like not there. Yeah. So that was really fun. So really fun. <laughs> Tuesday afternoon, you uh, called UPS, and they yeah, okay. and he was pretty much like. Almost they, <laughs> he was like, they pre-checked in Japan, they pre-checked in Alaska, and they pre-checked in, in Kentucky? Tennessee, like Tennessee. Tennessee. Nashville. Yeah. Um, so we got updates. So we were like, okay, so where are these pins? Because pretty much on my end, it looked like it was already in Nashville, which is like the stop right before they come here. here. Okay. Yeah. And so I called. I'm like, hey, they were supposed to be here Monday. It's now late Tuesday. Uh, I called Monday, too when they didn't show up and they were like they'll be there tomorrow and i was like okay it's tuesday they're not here what's up and they're like and the guy's like pretty much like oh there's these two types of scans there's like the preemptive scan so it's like ready by the time it gets there but it's not there yet and then there's the one where when it gets there it's actually so i was like okay well it says it's in nashville is it in nashville he's like no it's still in china and I was what like, so fuck? like, what the so fuck? what is the point of a pre-scan? Yeah, that does absolutely that's nothing so for us. It was some bullshit. And if the company wants to do that internally, that's fine. But, but why are you them. notifying me? Yeah, yeah. So that so does nothing for me. I, I, I don't want to go too yeah. into detail about that yeah, bullshit because yeah, yeah. we have cooler shit to talk about <laughs> than the fucking delay. Yeah. Um. So they were like, it's still in China and it's not going to be there for another. It, once it says it's in the U.S. the next time, mm. it'll be one to two business days that you'll get it after that. It was already Tuesday. Yeah. We didn't have one to do bi- one to two business days because yeah. 
the next day the event started yeah so i was losing it i was losing my fucking mind because i was like this is the first like i've always my like my dream growing up was to one day exhibit not only just exhibit at san diego comic-con and 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 thank god like last year well in november of 20 uh 21 yeah uh was when we technically first officially exhibited at san diego comic-con and that was during the november uh uh like special edition. Uh, special, special edi- edition yeah, yeah. comic con yeah. special edition that's the first time we got in and uh that was like a dream come true for us and then but still it was that like okay we now we have to do the summer one right yeah. that's our that's yeah. the goal right and then that next year we got in yeah and i think it's because we did the november one yeah uh when no one else did like there were so many people that didn't do it and I was like, well, this is our chance, right? Yeah. yeah. And it, I guess it was because that very next summer, we got into the summer uh, SDCC. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was a dream come true. But we got in last minute. So I wasn't able to make exclusives for that. Oh, shit. So this year was the first year where it's like, okay, we had a year to prepare. Mm-hmm. I had my daily, ex- I've always wanted, I always loved that. What, when I would go to Comic-Con and I would find these really cool booths and they'd have like a, come uh come uh, they had like daily exclusives right yeah. Yeah. you can and, only get them that and you day. could only get them that day and it was it, it's like a, it's such, it's just so much fun it's like a hunt right like yeah. a scavenger yeah. hunt and and and, and, and you want to collect them all yeah so i was like super excited for that and 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 this shit was going to be late and i was like no and like, then this is if we didn't have them that day we wouldn't be able to sell yeah. them because it was day literally on the pin not yeah. on the backing card yeah, on, the on the pin the it says pin preview night yeah. day one day two yeah. day three day four so i'm like fuck i was freaking out and um so what we ended up doing was i had an idea for uh to pretty much play off of the uh early bird um bundle that they that they did back in like 77 or 78 whenever they did the kenner figures mm-hmm. uh when they didn't have them but it, it was like you can buy this display or whatever the early bird package and once we get them we'll send them to you yeah and mm. and so i kind of did that i like played off of that i was like fuck it if they want to buy it they'll buy it if they don't they don't so i made these little vouchers that was like um uh redemption a redemption yeah like, so, like tc's right With yeah the box stop yeah, yeah, yeah like, like, much, like the yeah. iou right yeah. yeah so i was like we'll have them so i was freaking out but i was like okay this this will be a good solution that i can like breathe with and then her and miguel were like it's fine like they'll they will like it's comic-con shit shit like this happens they get yeah. it and, and if anything it made it more exclusive and exactly. more like oh like you had okay. to get this card and you had to come back and you had i was like true of any show for this to happen this is it this is it. like la comic-con people have been like oh fuck you dude like <laughs> i'm not doing that you're gonna scam me but yeah. it is san diego yeah. comic-con the harder it is to get something the more people want it and the more valuable yeah. it is yeah and and yeah. i was trying my best to like stay calm for him because i oh, was man. obviously just as stressed but i was like yeah. i need to be like it's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna work out. If you would out. not, if you did, you, if you had not done that, I would have, I would have. You would have been, been in hospitalized. You know, I'm yeah. serious. He would have been in the hospital. Yeah. He was so stressed out, yeah. and and honestly, if you only knew the power <laughs> of the dark side. Oh my god! <laughs> but honestly, I'm really proud of you for like thinking on your feet figuring something out and like making it work because anyone else would have been like i'm just not gonna go anyone else would have been like i'm just not gonna go because he would have had to told every single person that came to the booth we don't have the exclusives that would have fucking sucked yeah Yeah. what do you mean you don't have them like people get mad people get like aggressive you know so like it would have been not only not only a bummer because he didn't have what he wanted to sell but San Diego Comic Con well, no, is it's another like, it's like another look, thing entirely. My whole life, I've been going to Comic Con right? yeah. to SDCC. My whole life, I we grew, born and raised in San Diego, grew up here, and I have been going since since I can remember since you could walk. Since I could walk, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so to me, that's like like that's always been it, right? Like yeah. that's been, always been the goal. Yeah. And um. And like the way I see Comic Con is like 
that's where the best of the best are. Yep. I right? like that. That's where the exclusive of the exclusive, the best of the best, the you know, that's it. That's yeah. the arena, and that's the arena I've always wanted to step in. So once I'm there, it's like I want to fucking like I want to. It's like Bring you want to your prove best. yourself. Yeah, yeah it's a, you're there to prove yourself, right? Yeah. So that's what it's fucking stung. Leagues. That's what stung the most was was also because all of the exclusives were promoted not just by me i posted them but the sdcc unofficial blog picked it up oh, yeah, and did like a little it. article and um they fucking posted it on their blog and they they not they didn't just share it they like wrote like something wrote about them and That's something awesome. about punch yeah. it so like and it got a lot like a good amount of traction, traction yeah. because anyone that really goes and does sdcc right does they research, fu- they yeah. check the the that blog yeah they check that go-to place um so it's like not only that but like our exclusives were up on the comic-con website like and everyone checks that shit right yeah so it's like i knew that there was gonna be i didn't expect the response that we got yeah Mm -hmm. but i knew there was gonna be a lot of people coming to the booth yeah because they saw the exclusives Mm -hmm. and it's like and for a lot of people this was their first time shopping from us right so you want to make a good impression most people people had never heard of us before but they saw the pin, thought it was cool, and they were going to come by the booth. Exactly. So th- there was a yeah. lot of pressure to be ready and to figure it out. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> that was that was yeah. very cool. Yeah. So, so, yeah, Wednesday comes around. We finish setting up. Um, actually, no. We did, I think no, we were okay, all so, set up. So Wednesday... Wednesday is when I had to figure all this shit out. Like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Like, we don't have the pins. What are we going to do? So, thank God. Shout out to our print shop, uh, uh, the art place. Yes. (laughs) um, Because they... Came in clutch. They came in clutch. They fucking... Excuse me. I designed... The backing? I designed... No, the the, the vouchers. Oh, okay. I designed the vouchers on Wednesday afternoon because, like... (laughs) like yeah. oh you're right yeah you know I, on wednesday afternoon and i was like i need to get these in like an hour yeah. can you do it and they're like fuck yeah we can <laughs> so we yeah. go we get them unfortunately they took a little longer than we thought so we were a little late a little later than we had anticipated on getting to the show yeah. and then there was traffic well, Probably, we're, we, we don't need to go through traffic <laughs> we were late to the event but uh we probably gonna put a link in the description to them whoever is local to use them because they i mean yeah yeah check clutched. it out yeah i'll put i'll put i'll put a link down below um but yeah so we were late uh we got there like maybe with 15 10 15 minutes before the doors open <laughs> yeah oh my God. and we still hadn't finished putting like our stock where it goes oh, we still hadn't finished like doing a bunch of stuff um and we were still finishing up doing all of that mm-hmm. when the the doors opened and then we were like we were like it's okay just let's just finish up and then all of a sudden one guy shows up yeah and he's like give me the whole set what? right and we're like yeah. okay well so, it's a day-by-day day thing so yeah so we're like, okay the whole thing. So, well no no no. we 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 were gonna with, with the preview night pins we were gonna sell like if they oh. wanted to get the whole set all at once we did that but oh, only a handful awesome. of people were uh, did that or wanted to. And do we that. didn't tell them they. And could. we didn't tell them we, it was they, only if they asked. It was only if they asked. Okay. So, um, so that that one guy, that first guy, buys yeah. the whole set, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, okay." Hell yeah. I was like, "All right, this is going good, right?" Yeah. The first sale of of, of the booth of yeah. the of the uh, of the show, right? It was one whole set, and then and we gave him his voucher, whatever. Like a couple minutes later. Like ten people show up to the booth and line up, and they're like, "Oh, uh, I want uh, the the preview night exclusive." I'm like, yeah. Oh, okay. And then we start seeing people lining up, and we're like, "Okay, shit." And then it started getting crowded, okay. uh, and not only because of, not not only because of our booth, but right across from us, like right next to us, we had a hundred soft. And I don't know if you yeah. know who they are, but. Yeah, uh, I got an understanding of it from previous episodes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I forgot. You watched the last one. So he was there, and people were lining up for his booth. 
And then we had another booth right next to us, the con rangers, and people were lining up for their booth. So it just kind of got a little congested. So I was just like, okay, we're going to take the take care of the people that are here yeah. at our booth. And and That's we were still getting yeah. our shit together. We were not ready for people. Still, There was stuff still like in the booth yeah. that we hadn't put away that like we were not ready. So Miguel was like checking people out and I was just like, you know, trying to help where I could because I was stuck in the middle. I couldn't get out of the booth yeah. because there were people. <laughs> and then Mike was like getting all the pins and stuff. <laughs> and I was just like handing... Uh, it was crazy. I was I was it doing was all the voucher things. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I'm like, we're still like checking people out and stuff. And I'm like, people are kill- like, there's people still coming. Yeah. It's not and, stopping. And it's not stopping. And, and I was like, I'm going to look up. So I looked up and I see like the crowd from 100 Soft, yeah. our crowd, and then like more people in between. And then I start following the snake. Right. Yeah. And it's all coming to our booth. And I was like, holy shit. I was like, and I look at Miguel. I'm like, dude, our line's around the corner. And Miguel's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he didn't believe me. Yeah. And I was like, okay. I was like, I'm just going to keep fucking going, right? I thought. How many, how many, how many vouchers did you print? Because did it run out like. We well, Fast? I printed a bunch because I was like, I don't know if we're even gonna get them Friday. Like, I'm just, I, I, I printed yeah. a bunch, but oh, okay. we did give out, uh, right? Quite a few. Get them out. Yeah. So, um, I was like, okay, we're just gonna keep working. So we kept working, and then like a, f- a few minutes later, the security shows up, hmm. and he's not even coming to us directly because he can't even get in the booth. Oh shit! There's so many people. He's like at the edge of our booth, going like, hey. You need to get your line under control. Oh, and we're and I, I like look up and I'm like, what do you want me? What to do you want me to do? Fuck? And yeah. then that's when Miguel looked up. Yeah. And then he like looked at him and then looked over and saw the fucking like, holy shit. They, they, oh, it was like the line we, snaking. We all thought it wasn't our line. Yeah, we thought it was like Con Rangers yeah. or 100 Soft or just regular foot yeah. traffic, but it was Dang. all our line. Like yeah. clogging oh, so up low. the aisle way and yeah. people because people didn't know where to line up or like yeah. it was just yeah it was chaos. So, uh, shit, sorry, making me sorry. Tick, tickling my ear. <laughs> um, so, uh, so uh, that's when I and then Bella was right next to the guy. So I was like, mm-hmm. can you? She's with the she's with us. She's with the booth. Can you like advise her? Yeah, like we don't know we what can't we're doing. Do, yeah, like, like yeah. we don't know. What, he's like, you didn't magically traffic these people yeah like, yeah, yeah. he's like you didn't prepare for this i'm like no <laughs> like we didn't expect this what the fuck we've no. never had a line at sgcc yeah. like this yeah. yeah so so i was like and so fi- when i said that he was like oh, okay okay so then he like went and like at was least. talking to bella and then we made this like little makeshift shitty literally like, the end of back, cap of line back of a piece of paper and then bella was out there with like the <laughs> I was Inside. literally line person. Yeah, like single file for and the so whole show for three hours. For three, for three hours, hours, it like, didn't wow. stop. It didn't and I had stop. to tell people like, do a lap, come back, because yeah. like they wanted to get in line, but I had to cap it because there was a corner booth was a was um, con rangers, and yeah. then we were to the left of them. So our line, sorry, Jesus, <laughs> I was gonna Can help you, you but yeah, I was Thank trying. You. <laughs> um, our line was was wrapping around and blocking con rangers, yeah. and then there was. Sorry, Sorry one second. <laughs> the chronicle. There we go. Put his oh, hat on. Yeah. So it was wrapping around there, and then it was going into the main aisle, and it was blocking foot traffic. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I had to stop our line. At at the. Pretty at, much at our booth. At like our booth. Where you where you enter our booth. That's so there could really it. only be like. 10 people in line at a yeah. time because that's like what we fit. could have we could have separated the line but we didn't have the people we didn't have the people we didn't have enough people you know to how do like it. they'll yeah. take the rest of the line around the corner like on the other it. side yeah, like yeah you need hall. three people because you have to have the line cap or like the line at the booth person and then the two people and controlling then the, two the other people s- controlling the other yeah. side and then to... sending people oh, to your booth okay. it's this whole thing we we were right. not it's this whole si- can you yeah. just fucking leave him alone <laughs> oh my god can you leave him alone no smack him <laughs> jesus you just blew out someone's eardrum good you don't I'm need sorry. to hear the podcast um <laughs> now i lost my train of thought that you need three people for the line. Yeah, so you need three people for the line. So we were not prepared, but luckily, like maybe ten minutes later, they were able to send people yeah. over to help uh, do that. that. Yeah. 
Um, awesome. But we sold out of our exclusive in 10 minutes. Yeah. The preview night. It was gone. No, yeah. I, well, I kept a close eye on the story. Yeah. And it's like, oh, story. Oh, what? It sold out. Sold out. The stickers you guys yeah. were Literally, putting up. Literally, like, like, yeah. like, we barely yeah. had time to post. And when we did, it was like, yeah, stuff's gone. Because we felt bad because we're like, we wanted everyone to have a fair chance. And yeah, we thought yeah, yeah. we we brought enough yeah. stuff with us like we didn't say like oh let's only bring well, no, a couple because we like, also we're going off of like previous numbers right yeah true previous shows previous like the shit we usually do right yeah our average and like what we can afford with our budget for you know each show right and oh, like okay, okay. i was i was like we're going hard right <laughs> like, yeah we got so many exclusives yeah, like we're, we're doing we're doing this right we're going hard like it was not enough it was not enough. So for the no. upcoming one, you were gonna what? Double stock. I double think I think triple? at least a hundred of each, for Shit. each day. Okay. Yeah. So it's like what five hundred. Shit. Yeah. For each. Yeah. For the dailies. Dang, so many boxes, dude. <laughs> and we're gonna do other exclusives too. Oh, and Miguel was telling us that we fucking really need to get on our. Um, we just need to ask our factory, but he's like, just ask them. It's like a little bit more, hmm. but it's worth it. He's like, they'll back and pack your uh, pins for you. Oh. They'll like put them on the backing yeah. cards and put them in the plastics. Oh. Yeah. So they'll send them to, when we get them, they're already in like a brick. And they're packed. Uh, okay. Like packed. Oh, and, so you yeah, we wouldn't have to do the that. backing thing. And the That's going to save so much time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, because fuck that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of no, work. I could just imagine, dude. Especially I, I now. I know when you guys yeah. do like... A new pin for Patreon and stuff. You guys take quite a bit, like right, like a couple yeah. hours, yeah. half of most most of your day putting most of the days that, that shit. Yeah. But for the, I'm just yeah. imagining 500 yeah. for just the exclusives. Yeah, be, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's awesome though. That's yeah, really good really problem to have. It's a good right. problem to have. Now, growing yeah, pains. Growing, of course. I feel like you also feel like we, <laughs> we should have <laughs> this figured out. It's been like eight years, but I mean, <laughs> but that's no, the growth, we right? We were not yeah. expecting no, we weren't, that. No, we weren't expecting that. I'm talking about yeah. backing our fucking pins. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was awesome. That's it, awesome. That that alone was like a bucket list thing. Like, it was like, surreal. Like, it was surreal. Like I still can't believe it. And, and you were telling me a little bit beforehand, right? Like the uh, your neighboring booths were super chill. About oh, that, they right? were super chill. Yeah, they yeah. were awesome about. Yeah. It. They're yeah. like, we totally understand. Like That's we awesome. remember so the first sweet. time this happened to us, and they were like yeah. congratulating us. I was like, oh, even yeah, the even you. the people through the line, the people yeah. in line were like, congratulations, you guys yeah, are doing awesome. great. Like this is so like like really really cool yeah. like super awesome. cool. like people that nice. didn't know us too is it's not like they were like our supporters like long time supporters like I like it's so good like it was people like fuck yeah like yeah. you know yeah. not that our supporters didn't but like I mean like yeah it, it like wasn't people just that didn't know us the people that, that knew came us came just like yeah. they just met us they were like really excited for us so that yeah, was really was, cool that was really cool really no, yeah. cool it was awesome so then Thursday morning. I wake up at like 5 a.m. And then immediately I am wide awake because I turn my phone on and I see that the package is out for delivery. <gasps> and USP UPS had told me the day before, they said, as soon as you see that, call them and tell them to hold it at the location and then you can go pick it up and that'll Makes probably sense. be That's faster. faster. Yeah. yeah. So I called and I was like, fucking leave it there. Right? <laughs> I'll be right there. And and, and this was, again, and five, Toronto, five in the morning. Toronto, Fast and Furious. Then. Yeah. Literally. So, uh, and luckily, the UPS place that they had it at is like right down the street. Oh, right down the street. So like we drove minutes. over right before we went down to the convention center and I got so lucky because as soon as I'm like peeking into the, the door because they're closed, they open at 10 I got there like six. <laughs> I got there like six a.m. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so I peek in. The lights are off. Yeah. And this one lady that and I recognize her because she's she's always there every time I awesome. go. She uh, she's like coming out of one of the doors and I'm like, hey, like you know. And, and she's, she's like, like, we're closed. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, but you know. Yeah. Um. So she comes. She opens the door. She's like, what's up? Like we're closed. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like they told me Dire. to come here. Yeah. Like. It's very important. Yeah. And like, can you, you know, this yeah. is, it's also late. Like, it's late. Right. So I was like, come on, please help me out. Yeah. So she did. She That's was awesome. super cool. Came in clutch. And it came in two boxes. Uh, and she found one of them. She couldn't find the other one. But luckily, the one she found was the one with all of the pins. Oh. Yeah. The second one was the one with all of the lanyards. Oh. So okay. I was like, fuck it. 
We'll yeah. come back for the lanyards. So she gives me all the pins. We go. We get there again, like right before Tokyo Drift Tokyo into Drift. the fucking That's convention right. center. And then, and then, <laughs> uh, so we we had them. We had them for Thursday. You guys got uh, asked. Uh, Assigned parking, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank God. God. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> we would not survive if we didn't. No. no, no. Uh, so yeah, we got there. We had them for that day, and then uh, you know there were a few. There were some people that came back on Thursday with the vouchers. We gave them their stuff. They were super excited. That day, the fucking pins sold out in the first like thirty minutes, because um, we had more of them crazy. too. Um, and then. Uh, but yeah, it, it ended up fucking working out. People loved it. The vouchers worked out beautifully. Yeah. People didn't, like, literally no one cared. They were like, give me no the fucking... No one complained. Give me the fucking vouchers. No like, one was they annoyed. <laughs> They're like, give me my stuff so I can go to the next yeah. booth. They were like, come on, let's go. Okay. Yeah, they didn't care. Uh, okay. yeah, nice. yeah. They were like... <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, so uh, so it, it was really, really fucking awesome. Yeah, Thursday was great. Then Friday... Uh, Friday we had well Thursday well, was yeah. your was the uh, her universe fashion yeah, show yeah right? so yeah. Thursday was really cool because I got to go to my first her universe fashion show and that's something that as long as I've known about Comic Con I've wanted to go but it's like it's hard to get into oh. yeah um, but I was invited by Hot Topic because I'm an affiliate with them and obviously they work hand fucking in hand fucking shout out yeah, yeah. <laughs> they work hand in hand with her universe with all like the fandom merch they do. Um, so it was a little stressful because, you know, we were exhibiting all day yeah. and then I had never been to one before. I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't sure what I was supposed to wear. Uh, um, so I ended up getting there like literally 10 minutes before the show started. I like get my badge and I take a couple like selfies. Like I didn't see anyone that I knew. I know a lot of the like people in the community, but I, they were already sitting down. They were already at their seats. Um, so I came in and I found an empty seat next to this really nice lady. We like chatted a little bit, but I was only sitting for maybe five minutes before the show started. Um, and again, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, it's a fashion show, but you know, it's probably just, just that right. Walking yeah. down the runway and that's pretty much it, which would have been still amazing, but it was a full production. They had, um, oh, I can't remember his name. I feel bad, but the, the guy who plays genie um and the oh, aladdin broadway. broadway show was oh. the co-host with ashley cool. um so he is larger than life he's a like huge performer very talented um so he was like performing throughout the night singing different songs um and then they also had a dj on stage that was like playing live music for the the people to walk down the runway mm -hmm. um they gave out like raffles and prizes oh, wow. like all throughout the show um there were goodie bags okay. um no <laughs> sorry let me go down this is the one showing up that one him yes what is his name and what's see. cool is that he actually went to school with ashley when they were in high oh, school really? yeah they went to school together oh, so they've ashley been like Erickson. What was that? <laughs> I, I thought that was my voice. Like, they're uh, they're like lifetime friends um, cool. or lifelong friends, and they've obviously come up both in the Disney crowd. Um, so that was really cool um, to see them together. So throughout the night, I think there were twenty five designers. Um, they broke it into like five at a time. So they would show this like little video of them in their studio. They'd introduce themselves, cool. what their inspirations were, what their workspace was like, and talk a little bit about the piece they were gonna make. Um, so they'd show those five back to back and then they'd have the five um, people walk out wearing the finished design. Okay. Um, and what's really cool about the fashion show is that almost everyone that walked in the fashion show was the designer. Oh, so okay. instead of having models, yeah. Um, yeah. they wore their own, piece, their own piece, which is really cool because yeah. not only do they get a moment to shine and, and showcase it, but who's going to wear it better and show it off in a better way than the person the who designer. designed it, right? They know Double what they want to, <laughs> yeah, they know what they want to accent. An they accent know yeah, yeah, yeah. what they want, how they want it to look and the energy and everything, right? Yeah. So that was really, really cool seeing all of them come down the runway. Um, and 
every single look was different and unique and fun and like the energy in the crowd was crazy oh, like yeah, people no, I, I everyone was so excited awesome. to be there and most of the attendees were dressed up too either in cosplay or in her universe for hot topic merch or people even made their own couture so like Ooh. people that were just like I love fandom fashion too, and I want to make something for the fashion show, even though I'm not walking. They still wore it, wow. yeah. so that was really cool. cool. I like I wasn't expecting any of this, like I not so at all. In theory, for future, let's say there's another one, right? You would make. I mean, Jesus. I would love to. Oh. I would love to. That would be super fun to yeah. do. Like a you could fucking do it. Yeah. I've seen. I've okay, seen. Okay, if your... me, your mom, and Tita worked on something, Oof. we could make something super like crazy no, and at dramatic. That point, you're competing. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> step excited. aside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it was it was really really cool. Everyone but was so talented. <laughs> Okay. Everyone was so talented. Yeah. Um, who and was, who was that one lady with the crazy like a uh, film dress? Oh, okay, yeah. That so was that was Ashley. Ashley. That was <laughs> stop <This> playing <laughs> that. So Ashley Eckstein, um, she's the founder of okay. her universe, and she voices Ahsoka. Mm -hmm. For those of you that don't know, um, look and at the sexy Lacoo swinging that. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> Oh so yeah that was insane so she came out in a dress that at first just looked like film strips like these giant film strips that yeah. wrapped around her this couture dress and it had steamboat willie on it right but it just looked like pictures so it was still really really cool yeah. um but at first it just looked like photos yeah and as she Here started walking down the runway you might have to mute it it's muted that's that's her talking at the end. Um, there it is. Yeah. So this is a dress. So at first it was just a picture of Steamboat yeah. Willie. Oh my God. But as she awesome. started walking down the runway, it started playing video. That's awesome. And the crowd went wild because this is this has never been done before. So these are OLED screens. Yeah. And she worked with Imagineers and costume designers, like a wow. whole team to make this. And throughout the night, it would play different clips. So when she first came out, because it was the 100 year uh, Disney anniversary, yeah. it was like bits from Disney. But then she came out in uh, Pixar. So it was a bunch of different clips from Pixar movies. Then she came out in one that was all Marvel movies. And then she came out in one that was Star Wars, and I cried. I, like, I, it was so cool. It played the, you know, the first, the logo, Star Wars with the music. Whoa. Oh, my. It's crazy. Whoa. It's Whoa. crazy, the technology awesome. that they used to do this. So That's crazy. it played the opening crawl. Those look so good. Those look like TVs. Right? And yeah. they're, like, you fucking could, You could see it from flimsy. where I was sitting. Like, it wasn't like yeah. it was blurry or dim or, or dim. anything. It looked like she was wearing a movie. That's oh, crazy. And she walked, I think it was the Imperial March she walked out. Oh, uh, hell yeah. And she had Vader and Luke on there. And then um, her co-host came out. And he was in, like, this really epic couture Vader look. Um, that's him in his, like, genie look. Michael. His name Michael is Michael. James Scott. Yeah. So Michael Scott, Michael Scott, hey. how could you forget? <laughs> <laughs> so he came out and evaded. That's them in high school. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's like a high school play that they did together. Um, so he came out as Vader and then the 501st came out with like a, a squad of stormtroopers. That's so cool. And it was so cool. Like I, I had never seen. That's awesome. Such an awesome combination of fandom and fashion, right? Yeah. Like, it was the nerdiest and coolest thing I've ever seen. I was so inspired by all of, like, the designers and the artists and, like, everyone that that worked on this show. Like, it was really, really impressive and really fun. Um, and that clip at the end, I don't, I don't know if you want to play it or I can just talk Which about one? it. One? But um, No, go down. The one where she was like talking. Uh, maybe it's that one. I think it's this one. But, show. Yeah. 
I just am so incredibly thankful to SAG-AFTRA. They were so helpful. I called them up and I said, we just want to do the right thing. We want to be in compliance with all the rules. We want to do the right thing. And they said, you know what? The show must go on. You are absolutely doing the right thing. Go do your show. That's so cool. And I want to thank our team at Hot Topic and her universe. You know who you are. And our friends at Disney. Everyone just wanted to do the right thing here because we wanted to be here for you. And this is what this show is all about for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for coming tonight. Yes! And like I said at the top of the show. Yeah, so she, at the beginning of the show, um, she made a statement saying that they had talked to SAG-AFTRA, that they, you know, they they pretty much that they got their blessing. So she said that at the beginning of the show, but it was very professional. It was very kind of concise. Yeah, Um, this was after. Addressed it, and and that was going to be it, right? But pretty much she talked to them, and they said, your show is about independent designers. Yeah, and Mm -hmm. giving them the spotlight. And giving them the spotlight and showcasing their favorite fandoms. Yeah. Yeah. This is at like its purest. Yeah, it's exactly form. what they are. It's what they're yeah. fighting for. Yeah. They're yep. fighting for these artists. Yeah. Right. So she said something, you know, professional, concise yeah. and addressed it. Right. And said, we have their blessing. You know, let's 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 do this. Right. Um, but that was at the end after they had announced the winners. And she was like, I, I wasn't going to say anything because I didn't want to get emotional. But you know that's when she yeah. gave the speech and and she was like i just wanted to do the right thing and she's like i felt so bad not for me but for these for this group this well, incredibly yeah, talented that group so that worked on. so hard this whole year right and how many people worked so hard for all of this and she, you know she said if we weren't going to be able to do it that's fine like if if sag after said no we wouldn't have done it mm-hmm. but she was just so happy for the artists and for for the people that you know were involved in the show that they still got to have their moment and they got to you know share what they love and share their favorite fandoms and and that's why ashley does what she does it's all about the fandom and the community yeah so it was a very emotional night but it was so nice and and the the two artists that won um did an amazing job there was like a mini mouse like 80s couture look Ooh. and then there was a storm uh yeah. look like awesome. a marvel look so that was really really cool and then there was an after party afterwards so i got to see a lot of my friends in the community and then like meet a lot of new people too like yeah. people that we both follow each other but we've just never met in person yeah um so that was really cool yeah so um thank you hot topic for bringing me along um that was definitely like a a bucket list thing that i've just attend i just wanted to attend but to actually like be there representing the company and and do all that was was really special oh that's awesome Uh, you met ek johnson right i did i did at the the after party yeah i got to chat with her a little bit and Talk about fandom, fashion, and, so cool. and it was really cool. I, I didn't know she was going to be there. I was like, Me oh, neither. Hey, I got <laughs> I got a pick. I don't think I put it up there, but um, wow. I still have so much stuff I need wow. to post. We've been just <sighs> trying to recover. But um, so, yeah, that was that was my Thursday. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, I was not invited. <laughs> <laughs> you going to wear your couture suit? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to be a little more stylish. I mean, look, check it out. Yeah, you got I'm your heroes and out. villains. My heroes Comic-Con and villains. Thank you, exclusive. by the way. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. This is sick as fuck, by the Dude, way. Like, yeah. look so at cool. the inside. I so it's it. like, uh, yeah. what James, his name is? Jonathan. Jonathan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I'm horrible with names, but it was great meeting you. you yeah. Uh, it was so, we. it was lovely talking to you. Um, so pretty much what he was saying is that these shirts were designed after, well, inspired by, like, traditional hawaiian tees yeah not tees but like you know the, the hawaiian shirts where it's like on the inside they has it still has like the darker print 
Yeah. It's like it's like the I think it's the So inverted. if like the wind blows your shirt open it like yeah. you still see the design on the inside. And it's then, inverted pretty much. And then the uh the buttons are like kind of like koa looking. Yeah, they're super nice. They're like wooden. Really cool. Like real and I fucking I fuck with Hawaiian shirts. I don't know <laughs> this if you is know all this. he wears. He's I don't know if always you know in this. these button ups. <laughs> but I fuck with Hawaiian shirts but... and especially Star Wars Hawaiian shirts. Oh yeah, it's your two favorite things. My two favorite. They had like yeah. four or five different ones. All really um, cool. All really cool, but this one really caught my eye. Yeah. And um, and yeah, it was awesome. Uh, the, yeah. the, the Heroes and Villains booth had so much cool shit. This, yeah. Uh, this year. It was and, awesome uh, because I've been working with them for about a year, maybe a little less than a year now, um, and obviously online. Um, but this was the first time I was able to go and like meet the team. Um, and I got to meet Jonathan and he yeah. was super cool. We talked for like half an hour about oh, fandom, awesome. fashion and yeah. and how much I appreciate uh, the attention to detail and how everything they make looks in universe, you yeah. know, because so much merch, it's awesome. But they just grab it from the style guide mm. and blow it up and print it. Right. But everything they do is meticulously yeah planned and they have these little details like these little easter eggs it's like if you know you know and the quality is amazing and and you know i'm not just saying that because i'm an affiliate like i no, but genuinely yeah. love their brand i love them before i was a, an affiliate um but you can just really tell that they love what they do and yeah. and they really they're value fa they're fans they're not they don't just love what they do but they're fans of what they do yeah they're genuinely yeah. fans of of what they make and and I got to hear a little bit about their upcoming collections, which was cool. And then they fr sent us home with some swag. You got this shirt. I got. Thank you. Do you want to grab um, right next to you? This one. This was the exclusive uh, crew neck they did for SDCC. So this is a Return of the Jedi oh. crew neck. Ooh, I didn't see um, this. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. So they commissioned awesome. an artist to do I this. Love it. Um, so this is an original piece, and it it's exclusive art just for the show. Um, so yeah, they made this. It's and my it's favorite got, scene. Right? And it's oh, got the crawl yeah. on the back. Isn't that awesome? That's like, awesome. Like, they, they make the best stuff. They really they do. They really do make the best they, stuff. They, yeah. They, uh, I love, yeah. I love their work. So, um. I was about to talk shit and I didn't want to talk. Not about them. About, <laughs> I was about to, I was about to compare <laughs> them. Uh, never mind. You're fine. They make awesome shit. So they yeah, awesome they're shit. awesome. They have a lot of really cool stuff coming up. Um, and I have a discount code, so if you guys want to use it, um, that'll be down in the link below. But, or you can say it. Um, I can't remember <laughs> what it is off the top of my head. I think it's Isabella 20. Yeah, I think so. I think it's Isabella 20. Okay. But, <laughs> but, uh, all the stuff is in my link tree, all my, yeah. all my stuff. All right. well, um, but yeah, that was really cool getting to, you know, chat with the, the people behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, exactly. Well, I um, mean, I mean, as artists, we love getting to know the people behind yeah you know yeah behind it so that was really cool so thank you heroes and villains it was yes, great seeing you, you guys you. i'm i'm excited to see what's next we are yeah, yeah. so am i i I'm, I'm definitely trying to get the rest of these shirts <laughs> collect them all collect them all <laughs> no that's uh, really cool thank you really thank cool you. you're such a good model <laughs> thank you wow, wow. Thank wow. You. he's gonna be in the show but... <laughs> yeah <no. laughs> thanks here sorry <sighs> i i just fucked with oh Where'd you go? I just fucked with his there you hat. Go. I was trying to you're giving me it. shit for hey, it. Hey, hey. Now you're doing <laughs> it. You told me to. Uh, <laughs> never mind. So much hate. Whatever. Okay. So after that. Mosh Eisley? Mosh Eisley. Oh, yeah. Friday was fucking wild. Yeah. yeah. Like, turn. Dude. Friday was fucking wild. So <laughs> we were. Friday, we were. Friday uh, was a whole day of Comic Con. Yeah. Mosh Eisley started at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. The uh, and Comic Con was over at seven, so therein lies the problem. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little bit of an overlap. Yeah, huh? You no, oh no, no. <laughs> we don't miss shit. Okay, <laughs> we double booked and we made it work. Yeah, so pretty much, uh, it's a long story that I won't you go into. You duplicated yourself with the force. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I project, I I meditated and then I projected myself <laughs> oh my at gosh. the music box. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, pretty much we were stressing out because I was like, how, how the fuck are we going to do this? So she ended up staying at the booth. I left at like 4-ish, 4.30-ish with Miguel to go to the venue yeah, to set, set up, up and all that shit. And we get there and I realize I forgot the exclusive pins 
at the booth. Yep. Bro. So I had to drive back. <laughs> I got I got every red light. No. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> I'm the captain now. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> every red light. Yeah. And every time I had to cross the train tracks, the trolley tracks. Oh, uh, the train pass. The train ding, pass. Ding, every oh. time. Every time. And it was like a fucking. Dreaded. Like, he was so stressed. So, I was so stressed. <laughs> he was so stressed. Because we were giving away the f- uh, 50 free <coughs> pins to the first 50 people. Yeah. And then we were selling the ex- the other uh, exclusive variant, right? Yeah. yeah. So I was like, that's the whole selling point of us being there. Yeah. And I forgot like the, the pins. Yeah. So I had to drive there. Luckily, got there, came back. It was just, I was a mess. Was it right? faster the second go? go Coming I, back? Yeah, I, I, okay. <laughs> I ran a red light. I'm not going to lie. I ran <gasps> one. Oh, my God. No, well, it was like right before it was oh, like okay. yellow it was but, yellow it but was it, yellow. it no, turned red right as but i made sure like i was like there was, was no one no, no, yeah. yeah but like i went i was like fuck this i'm not <laughs> like i'm sorry i gotta I go also, to Mosh i also kept getting stuck behind these fucking idiots that like wouldn't go like uh, like yeah. They yeah, were, and they're on their phone it's like they're green and then they take three whole seconds yeah. to yeah. start their yeah car. and i'm yeah. like not just that but like they wait to go so that then you can't go yeah you know it's and I was like, come on, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, so so I was not having it. And, you know, Damn. I was safe. I was I made sure I was okay. safe. Yeah. Um, Did you got there like right in time? I got right? there with 10 minutes to spare. Oh, my before. God. So I, I get there and Miguel yeah. was trying to help me with the with the grids. He's like, I don't think you brought enough. And he had like done it like a completely wrong way. <laughs> oh, no. and I was like, it's OK. You did it wrong, but it's fine. And so we undid we it and we it. made it. And then uh, he helped me put the pins on the on the board super quick. And then put the board up on the grids and all this shit. And we were, like, barely finishing up when people finally came in. But, but damn, yeah. I have to commend you. That's crazy because uh, the whole time you were promoted, Mosh, I were promoting it. I thought that was just going to be your, like, de-stressor. Hang out with your, no. your no. fandom. We, we, were, we yeah. were working. And then, yeah, I saw you yeah. post the table, the setup. Yeah. He's like, oh, my God, he's still doing business there. Yeah, dude, I worked for 16 hours straight. That day. On, on Friday. Yeah. So it was from when we got to Comic Con. Double shit. Yeah. yeah. To uh, Mosh Eisley. And Mosh so Eisley was. Like one in the morning. Yeah. So it was from like nine to one. Like. One-ish. On his feet. Did you have at least have like a five hour energy or anything? No. Damn. He didn't eat anything. He was too stressed to what? eat. He too was crazy. I was too. St- I didn't have breakfast. I didn't have lunch. Oh, dude, that's. And then he had a bunch of alcohol. And I didn't have dinner. <laughs> I didn't have dinner because we Exposed. went. I went straight from the convention center to Mosh Eisley. I yeah. didn't have dinner. So uh, and then Miguel, is he, he was he like became buddies with the bartender, <laughs> and he's like he's like you want a shot, and I was like I fucking guess right whatever. Yeah. On an if empty I have stomach, to. that but that hit you. Yep, it hit me because. <laughs> Are and, you and, feeling it now, and it hit Mr. Me, Krabs? And it hit me right as I was looking for pins for someone's order. No. Yeah. And I and I, I was like literally Oops. looking and then whoosh, yeah. like everything got blurry, blurry, blurry and I was like, hoo, hoo, hoo. and then he asked yeah. Miguel to help him and Miguel was like, dude, I feel the same way. Yeah, Miguel was the same way. So uh, luckily, it Figured worked it out. out. We fe- I, some people had to wait a little longer, but it was yeah. fine. Uh, we ended up selling out of all of the Mosh Eisley pins. If they're listening to this now, they know why. No, no, they know why. <laughs> Sorry was, for the delay. Yeah. Was no, I was straight up. I was straight up with some people. I was like, oh, I've right. been drinking. So I'm sorry. And they're like, so have I. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, it's fine. Oh, yeah. sick. But it was um, really cool. And like, thank you to Mosh Eisley for doing it this way. Um, as soon as, as soon as people came in through the front doors, um, they were directed because if they did different packages for the show. Yeah. Um, so one was just the tickets. One was like the tickets and a t-shirt. And then it went up and up from there. Yep. Um, yep. But pretty much everyone had to walk by our, our booth. booth to get their other stuff or yeah. to get a drink. Whoa. So we were in like a really good so location. everybody so that walked by, everyone pretty came much through. everyone that came into the venue like bought something. Yeah, it was Almost awesome. everyone. But like everyone awesome. that was getting their merch got something from us. Except for like a couple of people that like went around because I was taking too long. <laughs> Um, but besides that, no, yeah, everyone, everyone was but like. It was a vibe I saw, and the DJ right from the cantina was yeah, there. Yeah, DJ Rex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They built that for the show. Yeah. Oh, shit. It was really mm. cool. Yeah, like it looked 
like the fidelity of it looked i was like did they take it from right no, no, they, it looked yeah, that they, good it was really really cool was, yeah they good. put in so much awesome work into preparing yeah. for this mosh it was a full production full production they pre they pre-recorded stuff yeah they oh. they made it like they made it, was like it like a story universe there was like That's a story awesome. it was yeah. really really and really they cool. were like all of everyone on stage was in cosplay they brought out vader they brought out uh, boba. imperials boba to, there were stormtroopers the song or um so it was like it was like part of the story so at the beginning it's um oh my god what's his name the yes. guy that plays snoke but he's in oh, Andor. Oh, fucking, yeah, Andy Circus. Yeah, his character. Um, it, it was themed kind of about, like, an Andor, like, when they break out yeah. of the jail. That was, like, the, the theme of the night. So oh, at the beginning, okay. um, the two guys that weren't able to make it to the show but that are part of Mosh Eisley did, like, a pre-recording. Um, and they were sending us, like, a secret message. Like, oh, oh like, we don't have much time, but we just, like, yeah. we have to get get out of here get the rebels to blah 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 uh -huh. um so like that's how the show started and then all the guys came out um and then there would be an imperial like come over the thing and be like like we're on to you we know what you guys are doing like that's don't right. get any ideas whatever so like throughout the night there would be stuff like that and then eventually vader came out with the stormtroopers mm. yeah. and they arrested really cool. the people on stage Okay. So they were in like detention, then they came out in the white and orange jumpsuits, and they were standing on program, and the crowd was going crazy. They're like, fuck the Empire! <laughs> like, right? We're all like, awesome. it was so. Fucking cool. emo night, and they were emo like, fuck night. the Empire! They're like, we were going so off. Sweet. Like, it was so, so much fun. Um, we had a bunch of our pin friends there with us. We brought our lightsabers. We all like, got dressed up, and like, oh, we're all yeah. emo kids. Like, Th that's why I love this show because that's like literally my two favorite things is emo music and Star Wars. So this is like <laughs> my favorite, yeah. my yeah. favorite combination and just the energy of like it's everyone. Not a phase, mom. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> like everyone there was super into it. Like almost everyone was dressed up. People did like emo or punk renditions of characters, or just in cosplay um and it was so cool i'm we had so much fun the, he had a line the whole show, the whole show. i thought Whoa. once the music started that it would die out because that's yeah. usually what happens he had a line the entire the show, show. I, I did see eventually you did get to jump in yeah like, like the last for the last three songs oh, three songs really? yeah yeah, yeah, the last three th three songs, I just I, I, we sold out of everything. I was like, fuck it. I'm like, what, yeah. are, what are you gonna steal? The display. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I that mean, was that was really I mean, really cool. It looks so dope. <laughs> thank you, Mosh Eisley, yes, for including us and for putting on such an awesome show for the community. Yeah. Um, you can really tell how much they love Star Wars and they love the community and and yeah, they do. It's an awesome show to bring us all together. Yeah, it looked so. really well organized. Like, it was. Not a hitch, like, no, yeah. no issues. No. You can That's you can awesome. honestly feel and see that they put a lot of love. Yeah, and, uh, into this event. Yeah, yeah. And, and like effort. And so know, that is not, a yearly thing. The small shy. I think. Thing I think the, the new. Like, well, it's not just work? yearly. I think they. The, so they did one for Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim. They did one oh. for when we were young. Uh, they they did this one, but I think they want to do one for every SDCC. No, yeah. So yeah. I'm like, like I'm there. Success. We'll be there. We'll be there yeah. for sure, every time. Uh, it was so cool. It was I loved super, it. super. I cool. loved it. I loved it. I loved it. But yeah, so work. I worked sixteen hours that day. Uh, yeah, and then we had In and Out. That was my. You know, I finally ate. Finally after that. ate I your ate. first meal of the my day was at two in the morning. The next day. And then yeah, we came uh, home, passed out, and woke up at five. So we got so three hours two, of sleep. Two or two hours. Two hours. We got two hours of sleep. Off of like the night before, getting four. Yeah. Like so crazy so yeah saturday, it was worth it saturday but saturday sucked. was rough saturday was rough um we what should we talk about so we sold out of the exclusive again so every day we every sold day, out yeah, within we the selling, first 45 yeah. minutes which was crazy um you guys started playing a weird game oh you yeah. guys are delusional in the <laughs> oh well God. i also don't want to you know we we also covered this on the last yeah. the last yeah. episode but uh for those of you who didn't who were <laughs> just listening to this one uh yeah we were we uh miguel and i started playing this game it was just like it, it was like i would give him like a keyword or a phrase yeah where he would have to like um uh 
work it into. Out, right? He would have to, out, right? yeah, he would have to work it into the conversation. Yeah. And and uh, <laughs> and so I, I I gave him that, and, and I would give him shit like uh, pineapple pen, yeah. or <laughs> like fucking uh, uh, get crazy, get, get wild, get crazy, get wild. And and cr- fu- just hilarious silly shit. stuff, but it was let me just so funny. let me just show you this. This, this. this is the Gandalf one I gave him, nice. and um, I think this was my favorite one. We didn't get to watch it with them last week, yeah. Uh, but I have it here. <laughs> it's so so funny. Miguel, Mike, you guys, uh, uh, here it is. But so th- his word here was Gandalf, <laughs> and if he sounds like he's out of his mind, it's. <laughs> Because, because he is, is. Uh, spider punk it is amazing is it am i can i see that yeah it's kind of iridescent <laughs> the, uh, oh my god is he not so talented he's amazing he's amazing he's one of our one of our really good friends so so just to pre- so he's they're talking about right now so miguel is talking to a customer and she's wearing a lanyard with a spider punk pin yeah. on it on the lanyard who uh that uh our friend fred from midnight dogs go check him out he made that pin Mm -hmm. it's a really really cool pin and he used like rainbow uh rainbow metal for the pin and the design is beautiful it's really cool so they're talking about first of all spider-man and uh uh, another artist (laughs) completely unrelated completely unrelated right yeah so that's what they're talking about We love Fred, and you know now Fred's he's, doing a lot of cool stuff. Nice guy, he's yeah. very nice. Yeah, he's one of our uh, first <laughs> friends that we met doing enamel pins. Like, oh, wow. literally, it was a show. He was across from us. He had like th- two or three pins. So did we. We bonded, and we've wow. been friends ever oh, since. So, cool. so I know he's here, but did you see his I new Spider Punk pin? One, yeah. <laughs> this one, the the Spider. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just looking. I at was uh, trying to see if he was so gonna make a Gandalf pin one day. But... <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, completely left field. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one day he will. Uh, I just showed him last year. You should have way more Yeah. So that was like the fifth time he said Gandalf. <laughs> and that was at that point because I could see the lady from the other side. Yeah. Yeah. You can't see her here in the video, but I could see her. And as soon as he says that, she was like, ah, yeah. Like, why is he and then, and then that's why you kind of see that's why you kind of hear her like kind of stumble a little bit <laughs> yeah. doesn't know she's what like, to say like doesn't know what to say but it was dude that's it was so funny. fucking funny it was so funny watching and them. like it was stupid right like it's yeah, fucking it's gandalf just it's just stupid silly stuff silly shit that we were doing to oh you know pass the time but he, we did that and then um yeah, it was it was crazy. So that was fun. Yeah, I would, and, lo- I would love to play. Like I don't care. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was so much fun. Yeah. And, and then uh, there was one. There were these ones where it's like, it was like, um, once they buy the pins, you have to say like, I love you. Like thank you, yeah. I love you. Yeah. Like that's that's how you say that's how you say goodbye to them. Yeah. It's like you thank get you. In trouble. I love you. They, that's my wife. Yeah. yeah. It was funny because Alex would do it, or she'd say, "I love you 3,000. Uh, and people would be like, "Oh." Like it's yeah. so on theme. Yeah. yeah. But when awesome. Miguel will do it, people will just be like, What the hell, bro? <laughs> okay, and they yeah. leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that shit was hilarious. That was us oh. being stupid. Oh my god. But and then I did want to show you this because yeah. I, I was gonna send it to you, but um but we 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 didn't have a lot of signal in there. Mm. But pretty much uh I went to walk around and, and over by hall A yeah. is where they have all the gaming. Ooh. It's like the gaming section. I and I was like, holy shit, if Silva was here right <laughs> now. So they, Street Fighter had this entire booth, and they were running tournaments the whole oh, time. Oh, shit. I didn't even see And there this. was a crowd of people around the whole time. So the, first, they had like four stations of yeah. uh, pretty much like the arcade booths oh, and where people cool. were playing. And then in the very center, they had two like facing each other. Oh, for like the where, finals. For the shit. finals. Yeah. Oh. So this was the one I was here for. It was uh, the sumo guy. I forget his name. Um, um, the from Street Fighter. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the Russian guy. Oh. That's cool. Again, I forget. Ga- not Guile. Guile's the the, the Sagat. Fucking, Sagat? Uh, the the Russian the, I think Sagat. Uh, no. It's some shit. I have it right there. Uh. <laughs> Zane. 
Zangief or some fucking shit oh, like that? Probably, yeah. I, I'm sorry. So here it is. But it was super cool. There it is. It's empty. There's commentators and shit. Oh, I love how they're commentating. However, he's still learning. And I hear, watch out now. Look at how many fucking people. Sick. That's crazy. There's so many people. There. there were more people when I first got there. Yeah. Uh, so that's and so cool. that was like already people. Oh, that's gone. awesome. Dude. But dude, the, yeah, the the fights were intense and like that. There was one where they the, so cool. uh, like the second round of this one. Yeah. They were like they had used up all of their energy, so they were just like kind of tiptoeing. Tactical, yeah, walking, yeah, being tactical, right? super tactical. It lasted like that's five sick. minutes. I was like, if Silva were fucking here right now, dude, I would have pushed out. you in. I would have pushed you in. Been like <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Take like him. him, him. That's funny. Oh my god! Imagine, yeah. imagine. Oh, so would you have done it? Yeah. Would yeah, you would have yeah. done it. Dude, That's so cool. That would have, I would have recorded you. That would have been so fucking cool. Dude. But yeah, that that was saying. I was like, if only he were here right now. What? You should have come Sunday. What happened? Well, no. The it was the day. Sunday was the day of the fire. No, Saturday. Oh, Saturday was Saturday. the fire. But this, then Sunday, I, I was going to teach it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's, right. Oh. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Next year. Next year. Yeah. yeah. Next yeah. We year. Gotta, we gotta we, plan it up. Because yeah, we had we had a bunch of like content planned and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it's fine. You, you almost yeah. died. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. But I, I I also I was like, he's not gonna be able to enjoy Comic Con or anything. Yeah. Um. But also speaking of the gaming section, uh, they had a whole Star Wars Outlaws. Yeah, exhibit. I saw oh, that, really? but I didn't. I, I didn't went have by a chance it. to go like see it like. See it, see it. Yeah, I went by it. Here it is. So it was really cool. It was it was just really quick. Um, it wasn't anything huge. Pretty much what they were doing was it was like this uh, little experience. Um, and you so this is it. I'll explain it. <laughs> no, that's cool. That's cool. so yeah. Look at that. So they had like the speeder uh, of the of the main the main girl the swoop bike uh, the swoop bike. And then uh, it was like, there, you could like, record, you would take a video well, of it, of you uh, on thank it. Thank you for your service, I appreciate it. So like the, the booth was really cool and those posters there on the, um, so pretty much you had to wait in line. Mm -hmm. Did you and take the line, No, because the line was fucking not just there, it was around the corner, along the Whoa. wall. Yeah. It was ridiculous and it was yeah. all because you could get in line and once you got to the front you would ride the bike. You would ride the bike and then... Uh, you guys are based off of Miramar. Sorry. I'm gonna turn it down just keep it on loop but yeah they uh you could get on the bike and then you would record uh you on the bike and then yeah. if you posted it on your social media with the hashtags then you got a free poster oh. mm. but i was like i'm not gonna wait in line Damn. and do all this shit yeah. so i was just like i'll record it and yeah. you know we can watch it on the podcast but that was it that was really cool but uh here's here's a picture of the booth um uh, so you can see like the line, but here, here it is. Oh, oh yeah. No, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it, anything this Star is Wars it. is gonna have a line. So this is the line here. I thought it was just this, but it went all the way around behind oh, this structure sad. and all along the wall, like down to the front of the, the convention yeah. center. Yeah. And I was like, fuck that. Then people <laughs> were already like, like mad dogging me because I was like, thought you were gonna looking, cut. and I was like, I'm not trying to fucking cut you. I'm just trying to look at this because wow. yeah. it's cool. Yeah. And I was like taking videos, and people were like, Don't yeah. Fuck. yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I, I know you're in line. <laughs> uh, try to get um, I'll, I'll put the wide. Go online and check the. They announced a special edition PS5, uh, regarding the Spider-Man Two. Ooh. And it looks, my guy, oh. beautiful. Okay, I think I saw a rumor, and I only saw it once, so mm -hmm. definitely a rumor. But it said something about Toby returning for Spider-Man 4. The, Is that? Either that, or there's also another one saying that Sam Raimi might be doing the fourth but, movie. Oh, like Sam Raimi but, directing. But Toby's Spider-Man? or Spider-Man. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sam Raimi. Oh, yeah, I let me pull so. it up. The, the PS5 put it up. That would be so cool. Yeah. So Yo, look at that, with like guy. the venom. Yeah, yeah it's like dude. being taken Symbi over. Symbi Sorry. Symbiote. Symbiote. Yeah. Symbiote. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, and it glows blue. Ooh. That's really cool. Look, dude, the controller. Dude, yeah. I was I was That's really sick. hoping they would do one for uh, Survivor. I was I wanted one for God of War. They did one for PS4 yeah. God of War. But, but the, yeah, the, well, there was a bundle for God of War, but it, it yeah, wasn't it like a special PS5. Like yeah. They should do one for Outlaws. 
Oof. If I they should. do one, if they do one for Outlaws, I'm getting it. <laughs> like, pff, hands down. What are you gonna do with this one? I'll sell it. I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess yeah. Have I both. I mean, yeah, it's a PS5. It's still gonna. Sell. Oh yeah. It's still- no, but yeah, this the uh, this re- looks really really cool. When's the last time they did like a themed one? PS5 haven't. This they have. Is this is the first one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's always yeah, been the white one. Uh, oh. Excuse me. Uh, little oh, cool. fun fact: like there was this company called. Uh, I think it was the brand called they would do the plates on the you know the white plates around it they made their own for different various colors mm-hmm. and then playstation gave them playstation or sony give them a cease and desist yeah They're assholes dude like that was pretty yeah. douchebag move uh, it's just an accessory yeah exactly it's not like they're you know and they're not making yeah. ps5s or whatever so yeah so but funny they sent a cease and desist the Cease. Cease. <laughs> that could kill you. No. Uh, well, they they sued him or yeah, they made him stop. Yeah. Told him to stop. And uh, funny, you go on PlayStation.com right now. There's a camo one. There's a yeah, different yeah. colors. Exactly and they're so the basic too, though. Like dude, theirs. That company, yeah. But that Wait. company was racking up them bills, dude. It's like I want. I want. We should look into like three D printing our own. Like I want to make some that look like Vader's castle, like the. Oh, you can totally do that. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. As long as it fits in the little grooves. Yeah. That'd be sick. That'd be cool. Oh, I forgot. The, I'm brain farting right now. What's the, not temple, but we're in the water, in the Kenobi series. Oh, the the, the, the Inquisitorious? Yeah. We yeah. Like that. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. That sick. would be cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, if they make a limited edition uh, out Star, outlaw, outlaw. outlaws one yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm getting it for sure because you know it's gonna be sick yeah because i had the i had the vader ps4 yeah yeah, yeah that I that was really cool it is cool. it's right there it's right yeah there. <laughs> what's up <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. started with the the <clears throat> audio from surfs up this is lisa <laughs> start going through all your special ambitions <laughs> you know what they call him leah right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know I call her a genie? Because I dream of her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Make a wish. <laughs> Shop told him, cut that shit out. And Jabba killed him. <laughs> All right. So, um, what do we... All right, so... Talk about... We talked about Saturday. It was wild. Yeah. Um, we did Korean barbecue that night. Well, f- first, before... There's two more things I want to talk about from Saturday. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I, it's all a blur at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's so. fine. It's, that's why we that's why we wrote this out. Um, I debuted a new cosplay. I debuted my Lady Revan. Ooh, so if you want to go on my yeah, definitely. my Instagram, instant. I think I put a Brand. song over it so you can just like mute it. This was a really cool cosplay because this started off from my closet cosplay um, video series that I've been doing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was really well received. Everyone loved it. They're like, this is so cool. Like, no one really does legends, <laughs> like, stuff like this. Um, so, yeah, I, I really had fun putting it together. So I thought, you know, why don't I make it, like, a full-on cosplay and upgrade it and then bring it with me to San Diego? Um, so, yeah, I added a full cloak um which was really fun and this one like my vader cloak just kind of covers me yeah but this cloak was like huge like there was a lot more fabric so it was a lot more like billowy and and like when i raised my arms it still like cascaded all the way down so the thank you you it was it it was really fun to run around in kind of like a hood (laughs) yeah (laughs) and uh (laughs) i don't usually do masks i'm not really crazy about wearing helmets or masks it just it gives me a headache you can't see you're bumping into things (laughs) so i was like great aspect (laughs) you like that you really killed it it's it's such a cool detail thank you and i feel like you know his stuff already looks like medieval like yeah it's you know it's yeah Couture, the Knights so. of the Old Republic. Yeah, so <laughs> I was like, I'll do a masquerade mask. Um, and then I added a few more chains to the belt. I think, um, honestly, can I just say, this part right here, like with the O-ring, the center one especially, yeah. and the chains, I yeah. think pulls it all together. Thank you. You yeah, really I, nailed it with I this. Knew, I knew I had to include an O-ring because that's like the most iconic part of his cosplay, I think, is that O-ring and that red fabric that drapes from it. Um, so obviously it's not perfectly accurate, but it's inspired. 
Um, and I added a few more chains to kind of mimic that draping off the O-ring. And, and yeah, it was a lot of fun to put this together, try to make it a little more feminine, but still make it recognizably yeah. Revan. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It wasn't too big of a reaction at the show, but the people that did recognize the character were really excited. Th- They're like, I this is fucking sick. <laughs> you, you really did like a perfect mix of like your own rendition, yeah. but also like nailing certain uh, like aspects of his costume. Thank you. Like the like the the the, the skirt, I guess yeah. if you want to call it, like the skirt yeah. here with the 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 the, the red in between the, the red in between and then like the o, like i said the o-ring with uh his chains and yeah. then the color of like your corset here yeah it's literally the colors and the shading and even like the texture of what he's wearing in the game itself Thank like the you. original game yeah i think that was the hardest part honestly was the corset because i was like it depends on your reference, but sometimes it looks very gold, sometimes it looks very bronze, and sometimes it looks brown. It's just, it's also so, just a lot of different renditions of him done by like uh, artists and yeah. and even like then they, they like made merch. Creative liberties. Yeah, because like even like the original yeah. Revan figure, yeah, uh, they took heavy inspiration from the game itself. Yeah. So he has like these colors, right? Like mm-hmm. as your corset, but then the Hasbro. Uh, black series uh, Revan yeah is gold yeah so it's like they, yeah, they, they, so they flip they flip yeah, it's kind of gone back and forth so I was like I feel like gold is too bright so that's why I went with like the chocolate brown and then I liked that the boning in the corset yeah has a little bit of that bronze it's a little warmer that's personally my favorite look yeah like is that I color, think I think it looks the, the best the red and the brown looks really yeah. nice together it keeps the mystique Oh, yeah, 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 like the dark tones. Um, and I like this because most most Sith are in complete black, which is cool, but you kind of lose the texture, you lose the dimension when you're wearing a black skirt, black top, black yeah, robe, black yeah. shoes. You know, only in certain lighting does that really yeah. look good. Unless you're stacked like Vader. Yeah, you know? unless, <laughs> you, unless you're literally a shadow that invokes fear while you're breathing. I am your cool slutty daddy. <laughs> <laughs> or, or should I say your, your breathing apparatus? It's not his breathing. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I didn't try it on until that morning, like all together. Like I, I didn't really know what it was going to look like, but um, yeah, I'm really happy it with how sick. it, it and came And you, you can't even really see it in the picture, but you have like bracers. Yeah, so I have like these um, bronze gauntlets that are yeah. kind of, they're embroidered, so they're kind of like a lace. They're and really then there's like cool. a jewel on them. Yeah, you can't really see them in this picture. Um, but yeah, I, w- I was like, I need to do gauntlets or gloves yeah. or something. Um, but I, again, wanted it to be feminine and that was another way to bring in the gold. So I do have gold. I do have brown. It's your rendition. Yeah. It's your and, version. Of- and I, I have so much love and respect for people that make screen accurate cosplays, but like, that's just never really been my thing. I, I like bringing my own take to it, a different interpretation. I also love cosplaying male characters. So even if I wanted to make it super accurate, some things are just, the silhouettes are yeah. not going to look the same. I'm not a linebacker. I'm not 6'5". <laughs> like, you know, like it's, <laughs> even if I want, I'd have to wear like shoulder pads. Yeah. And I like, mean, you know. Either way, it's yeah. like this, there's no rules when it comes to yeah. cosplaying. Yeah. First and of like, all. Yeah. Second of all, Revan is a character in an RPG that uh, when you played the game, you chose if you were male or female. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like you could so, choose your gender. So yeah. I mean, yeah, canonically, but, he's a dude, but yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you and go. and yeah, and and I like to keep it fun <laughs> and like I'm a perfectionist. So if I were to try to make something screen accurate, I would be miserable. Yeah. Like I I wouldn't enjoy cosplaying. I would no, be yeah. too stressed. I would want to change things all the times. So I wouldn't want to wear it because I wouldn't be happy with it. So like I feel like this is a good way for me to have fun and enjoy and experiment. And like things are gonna change over time, you know. Um, I'll upgrade things, yeah. you know, as I go. Hopefully, I can get Revan's lightsaber soon. That would be a fun addition. Hey. If for anybody wants to hit me up, 
<laughs> anybody but but yeah that was really fun um and then right after this um i was invited to the lego booth holy shit that's so right. That's right. yeah that's right. That's right. That's right. that was that was really really awesome so they reached out to me to take a tour of the booth um and i went with alex from bb create she helped me record some content while i was there um so yeah this year's theme was the lego brick buster video so it was a take on obviously blockbuster so very nostalgic That's really awesome. cool my favorite part of san diego comic-con is seeing how the booths um how like they they get super creative oh, with the yeah. booths yeah. and and they have interactive experiences and a lot of like hands-on stuff um, so yeah, this was really, really fun. Um, so they invited me along for a tour. So Olivia at Lego, um, gave me a personal tour of their new set. So I got to see the Lego stuff, um, Marvel, Sonic, Star Wars stuff. Nintendo. You what? said the Lego stuff. I'm sorry, the Star Wars stuff. <laughs> it's all, <laughs> it's get, all Lego. We get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, sorry, I'm, I'm still recovering, but, uh. But it was really cool because I've seen all these sets online, right? I've seen pictures, but yeah. to see it in person and they do these full landscapes, these full builds um, was really, really cool. And then obviously seeing the Ahsoka stuff, I got to see Ahsoka's ship. They had Shin's ship and then, a, uh, uh, oh my God, what is it? Not New Jedi Order, but the, what's the new government? The New Republic? New Republic. New Republic ship. Sorry. I'm... What's the... <laughs> My brain isn't working. But yeah, I got to see the Ahsoka <laughs> minifig and the Sabine minifig. Um, that's, that's what's going on in my brain right now. I'm, I'm trying my best. But uh, yeah, it was really cool getting to see those in person. Those and figures look amazing. The, it oh, had some clones, and like an, again, the landscape was really cool. And then this set, oh, I was most impressed shit. with. This is the Yavin set, Yo. uh, the Rebel base. There it goes, like I need it. Literally, you would have died <laughs> if you saw it. Like all the mini figs and and the uh, ship and like the Yavin set, right? Isn't like, that cool? Like, like hold a fucking second like the <laughs> fucking yavin set look it's at that it's really Thank cool you. i okay the something little radar dish the uh, i something i used to always do every time i would play with my micro machines when i was little hmm. i had uh y you guys might remember it but it was they had these sets that would pretty much they were these huge sets that would fold up and like would me become like a little suitcase yeah mm. that you could like walk around with it right portable take, take it wherever but i had one that was yavin oh, that's i had cool. I, there was one that was yavin and then the one there was one that was a hoth Ooh. and they were like the big ones but i oh and i would always play with those two but i would always play with yavin and i would recreate what i pictured to be the the battle of yavin oh, because cool. we had never seen it in comics yeah. or the shows or anything we've never yeah. we, i think we still haven't seen it yeah yeah we still haven't seen the battle of yavin but i would pretty much because it was like the the front of the temple yeah it was like yeah. the temple and then it was like in on one side was like all the docking bays and like all the sh shit for the rebels and then the other yeah. side was like the the you know the platform like where they also had their ships but then yeah. it was like the the the, the, long, the tower like, the tower thing yeah and then i would put all the imperials on on that <laughs> side yeah i'd always do that so this shit yeah this you can do that with lego i can do that with legos now <laughs> yeah so that was sick. that was really really cool and then we also got to build our own minifigs which this is, is so cool. awesome i love that they they always have something where you can like build yeah. um so we didn't get to do this other thing, but it was really cool. People got like a plate, you know, like the Lego plates. Yeah. Um, and you got to build like your favorite movie. Yeah. So like that was cool. So you got to build it and then they put it up on the shelf. So that's it so looked cool. like Blockbuster with all like the DVDs. Right. Oh, that's cool. Um, that's cool. But so that was really cool. But we got to do this. So we got to build our own little minifig and it came with a exclusive SDCC piece, which was the Be Kind Rewind T-shirt. Yeah. Um, so that was fun. Alex and I got to build our own little mini fig, and that's so cool. a such a cool little selfie. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That was cool. Um, and then this was a really cool detail. So it's on the back side, so you kind of had to look for it. Yeah. Um, but it is a take on Banksy's artwork. So it says Brixy, <laughs> <laughs> but it's um, it's a Lego. And it's like on this the graffiti right. piece that was on like the yeah. back of the booth. 
Um, so yeah, they had these really cool, fun details. Um, and then here, like the Brickbuster video sign. And it was funny because when I first went up, they had like a little like check-in desk. And they were, they were telling people, if you bring us your OG Blockbuster membership card, we'll give you an exclusive minifig. So oh, that was shit. something that was super low key, like it wasn't advertised. But I was like, that's crazy because even if you had it, most people don't have it on them, right? Have it True. in their wallet. But there were people that were like, I have it, I have it. They were so Whoa. excited. That's so cool. So it, it's canon now. Um, <laughs> Revan checks it out. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. So this yeah, it, cool. it was really really cool. Um, I loved seeing everything in person and and seeing what's next for Lego. Like I've been collecting for years and building for years. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. And if you go back to the first picture. Um, they had this little photo op. This was really cool. So this was built by by the team. Um, so it was like a speeder bike from Endor, like the speeder chase. Um, so it's like a little 2D thing, but you got to take a picture there. That's so super cool. Um, so yeah, that, that was... By the way, I may be an idiot. What? But that did not look 2D. <laughs> like oh, when, no? No, yeah, I it, it's that, flat. I thought that The thing in front of me flat. is flat. Holy shit. I thought that was like... No, it's too a, big. A, a, a built yeah. Lego... No, they killed like, it. Like speeder. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, well... Yeah, I'm, it was 2D. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that was really fun. Um, thank you, Olivia, for inviting me and for giving me a tour. I I really enjoyed seeing everything. And, yes, thank and you. We love Lego in this house. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. you can <laughs> exhibit A. Yeah, we love it here. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, that was definitely like, I did not think I was going to get invited to get awesome, to babe. do something so cool. But, uh, awesome. but Super yeah. Cool. I'm totally not jealous. <laughs> <laughs> not oh, at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's super cool. I, I'm, when they tell you that you're fine, but you're not really. <laughs> No, that was just super cool. <laughs> no, no, really, no, it's really, that was really, really cool. I'm, I'm so glad you got, to, you got to do this and like so many of the other opportunities that yeah. you got uh, to go run around, uh, you know, the convention. Yeah, I'm proud was, of you. Fuck yeah. Thank you. High five. I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. Very, very. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. No, yeah, yeah for sure. Next year, you got to take me with you. Yeah, that's next all year. I'm that's, <laughs> that's next that's year, all year I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, that's, that's super cool. I, I, unfortunately, unfortunately, I think we are out of time. Yeah. Um, but is there anything else that you wanted to uh, um, talk about? I know I a lot of stuff I don't happened. Think so. There was so much. I think we covered most of it. We covered yeah. most or of everything, it. everything, really. Yeah, most of the yeah. big stuff. But yeah, again, just want to say thank you so much to everyone who came by the booth, yeah. who said hi and picked something up. I, yes. We were completely blown away by all of your guys' love and support. I mean, and yeah. and we wouldn't be able to do what we do if it wasn't for you guys so yeah thank seriously you. thank you thank you for everybody who has supported us uh throughout uh, you know our time as you know punch it yeah and in the community um like like bella said we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys so thank you to each and every one of you if it's if it's even from anywhere from liking a post to following us to listening to buying our artwork yeah and uh and even coming out to see us in person yeah uh, we see you all we we uh, and it means the world to us you have yeah. no idea thank you um, we are so grateful to be able to do what we do for a living and to be here to uh be able to be nerds with you guys yeah. to be able to draw <laughs> star wars uh yeah. Uh, our, our favorite characters and 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 bring those things that we love to make and do to uh, shows like San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. Uh, and and it 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 feels like it's a dream. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it feels like yeah. it's a dream, but it's not. And I could not be more happy. I'm yeah. proud of you. Proud of us. Thanks. And and proud and, of you and too. thankful to all of you. Yes, so, thank you. Thank you all. Um, and like I said, unfortunately, we are out of time. But I do want to say, uh, please, please go ahead, like, uh, uh, or like, subscribe, review, and uh, all that fun stuff on the podcast. Uh, sorry, rate, review, subscribe. I had a brain fart. <laughs> rate, review, subscribe to the podcast. It would mean the world to us, and it honestly helps us a lot and helps other people that might like the show find us. Yeah. So uh, if you uh, please go ahead and comment, whatever it is, 
uh, let us know what your favorite thing that came out of SDCC this year was or um, if you have anything that you'd like to send us, uh, like I said earlier on the, in this episode, uh, we're going to be re refraining from talking uh, 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 about all the new projects for this the moment being because of uh, the writer's strike and all that all that stuff. So um, if there's even a meme that you want to send us, anything at all, please go ahead and email that to punchitchewypodcast at gmail.com. We check those regularly. And if you want... Uh, your topic, meme, whatever it may be on the show, that's how to do it. So uh, thank you guys again. We appreciate you. Thank you for listening, yes. and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.